Wait, oh, do we have oh. thoughts about os- the Oscars? Oh, yeah. That was pretty boring. <laughs> Just a bunch of people getting awards and stuff, you know? Coda, best picture. Congrats. Yeah, Coda, That's congrats. all that happened, yeah. right? Denzel w- was nominated for the Macbeth. Who ever? Three people saw that movie. Like, who would watch that movie? I genuinely didn't even know that. It's yeah. black and white. It's Macbeth. No, thank you. Really? Yeah. Uh, I thought Amy Schumer was good in the Oscar. I don't know what else happened. I don't know what that's it, right? Nothing yeah. weird happened, George? Do you, when I told you about it, did you see it after that? Oh, of course. I watched everything. Were you stunned? It was pretty shocking. And I've tried to like I've I've tried to hit it from every angle. Yeah, here's the deal. Um I mean, obviously in the begin when it for, when I first saw it, I was like, yeah. Cause he bumped me twice. Who Chris Rock? Who Chris did. Rock Friday and Saturday. I wasn't able to go up. <laughs> no, he, no, he's a nice guy. I'm just saying. There was a little part of was like, Dad, you know, don't bump. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then Eric made a little meme of the slab. Is it don't be bumping people in the OR? You know what I mean? So, um, it was just funny. But when you really think about it, because it was a moment um, after Will said, "Don't ever fucking talk about my." A couple times he said that. Um, where Chris. I know that look because I've been there. It's a moment of shock and tra- trauma. It was mm-hmm. traumatic. Um, he was assaulted um, in front of millions and trillions of people. I mean, not millions of people watched, the, but virally. I mean, you're talking about the world saw it. Mm-hmm. The whole world. Mm-hmm. Russians saw it. Putin saw it. I bet you Martin Putin saw it. Zelensky, maybe not because he's fearing for his life. But... Um, it was assault, and um, it was a re- he. Ne- he has issues. That's a man with issues. There's an issue there. We all have issues, but that now, his was just front and center stage. Think, last night. think, right? You're sitting in the front row, right? You have Mel Gip. When Mel Gibson looks at you and like you're crazy, <laughs> dog, you have a fucking problem. You see Mel Gibson, like you know what I mean? That's crazy. But do you think it's just like? method acting gone too far with um you know king richard because he was that type of like tiger dad maybe he never got out of that tiger dad mode no because you know you're the oscars you know you have all your peers in front of you he, you know will smith has been famous for a very long time right? right he knows what it all means okay he knows what it's like in his personal life going to a mall he doesn't go to a mall he's never he's never been to a mall. he's that famous right he understands that he's been to the Oscars many, many times before. He's been nominated before, right? He understands how many people are watching. I mean, he understands all of it, the environment, you know? It's like, like even if I saw, I mean, I, I have dudes that I hate. If I saw, if like the Pope was making a speech and that dude was next to him, the guy that I hate, even if I had a shot, you know what I mean? I, you know, I had a gun, I wouldn't do it because it's like it's next to the Pope. You know what I mean? That's a terrible. I don't know, idea. baby. I'm not good at analogies. I'm sorry. Give me another. <laughs> let me give me another shot, man. Yeah. I don't. I'm not good at analogy. I'm not gonna do another analogy, right? Yeah, I have a question. Do you think that they should have escorted him out after that? What, what I would have liked is had um, Denzel win it, and then you see, he sees it and it's a scribble with Will Smith's name on it, and they just put, <laughs> like a kid's letter, Denzel. You know what I mean? Or whatever. Somebody wrote it real quick. Yeah, but Denzel is sort of like. He's got like a James Baldwin vibe to him. He's very articulate. He's very wise. He's a sage. He's like a sage. Yeah. Mm. Um, I don't know what, what was that thing that he said to Will Smith. Something like the, the devil, devil will get you. The devil you're... will get you when you're at your highest or something. Yeah. Like who says that? It doesn't, doesn't make any oh, yeah, sense. Yeah. What did you think of his whole speech after everything? Who? Cool. Uh, Will's. Well, like when he was like his whole like rambling speech about like how he's a protector and that's why he hits people. Um, here's my thing about like people saying, oh, like, wasn't it so great that he protected his woman? Like for me, let me fight my own battles. Like I don't need you to come to my defense. If my choice, if my action in that moment is to, ooh, cringe, not like the joke, sit down. I don't need you to like, you know what I mean? Get all macho and then slap a dude for me. Like it makes me feel worse. Imagine me and Kalei are in the audience. We'll never go there, but we'll never. Yeah, but certainly let's not front are, stage. And Chris goes, "Look, at Kalila with her heart defect or something, right?" Yeah. And people are laughing, right? Maybe something worse about my um, 
my um, the way I look, not so much my Ooh, Stanley. Stan, Bobby Lee is dating Stanley Tucci. <laughs> oh, God. Stanley Tucci's here, <laughs> right? Right. And I, I kind of laugh, <laughs> right? And I look over, and you're upset, right? I, I would look. What back. if he said this? Yeah, Even yeah. worse. Okay, go ahead. I'm in the audience. Yeah. She looks so much like Stanley Tucci. He hasn't fucked her in two years. No, you have to look upset. <laughs> then I look back up here, and I look at you, and I go. <laughs> <laughs> We're on TV. Smile, bitch. <laughs> We're on TV, bitch. <laughs> There's billions of people, bitch. We, we, we're millionaires, bitch. You mean you can take that? That's true. He he's a, here's a guy who you, you you literally get out of touch. You know, it's like I, I I have a theory. Okay, Chris Rock is not out of touch, and the reason why he's not out of touch is because Chris Rock, out of the thirty years I've been doing stand up, has always done the comedy store, right? There are comics that won't do it. They don't come back. And then when they do show up, they have weird people around them and they That's don't go right. up. You know what I mean? And one example is, and he deserves the kind of mystique that he has, Eddie Murphy. Now, okay, Netflix gave him a bunch of money to do a special, right? Now, I don't. it might be the most amazing thing you've ever seen, but you know, I honestly believe that he might be a little too out of touch to do it, you know? And the material that he has, it's just like you have to live a normal life to have life experiences for people to relate to it, right? Like Chris is always at the clubs. I've never seen Bill, not, not that Bill Burr's at that level or even Chris is at Eddie Murphy's level because they've never had his kind of movie career, right? But it's like, um, even when we met Jim, Jim Carrey. Don't even say that. Right. We don't know, you know that we, for sure. I know, but we, know we, saw Jim, we met Jim, saw, hung out yeah. with Jim Carrey Friday. So I, well, I, I go, hey, Jim, I shake his hand. And then he introduces himself to her. Bobby has wishes and he wishes he's a cuck. You could suck his dick. I just, can you just stop? I want him on Tiger Belly. Jim, if you're listening. I'll, right? I'm offering up my body. I'm offering. I'll, I'll suck his dick to get him on Tiger Belly. I don't, <laughs> that's I'll, not, I'll, that's I'll not, a, that's, that, that's a, yeah, negative, not a plus. <laughs> um, but um, what a weird party. That, it was a cool party. I'm glad we went though. It was Keegan's birthday party. Oh, yeah? Mm. Yeah, Ron Howard's there. Should I go say hi? Like, what am I going to say? Oh, what was I going to say? Apollo 13 is great. I, I don't know what to say to him. And hey, what would you say to Ron Howard? So, happy days, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, the, you know, the one thing that, like, he completely, like, doesn't want to talk about. So, I what, just... so what was, like, what was Pat Marino to work with? Something like that. Yeah? Karate Kid, huh? <laughs> I, like, I like, like our tactic, though. <laughs> what? Our tactic of just um, um, getting as much food as possible on a plate and finding a dark corner to eat. And we ran into a kindred spirit. Oh, we did. Somebody who likes to do, has the same tactic. Because when I ran into him, he goes, thank God you're here. <laughs> you know who it was? Tony Hale from V. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. I love him so much. I, I have his number. He wants to do Tiger Belly. Love him. Yeah, yeah, right? Yes. Yeah, but what said, a sweet, sweet, sweet guy, delightful but, human being. So we went to a table and he goes, can I sit, he adds, he goes, can I sit with you guys? Yeah. I go, fuck Yeah. I want to go. Yes. Well, you're but not I'm not invited. Filipino. You're not. Why? Can he come, Gil? Non Filipinos uh, can't go. You, he's met Marie. He did the family style. So oh, that's him. right. You have met Marie. You should just Marie show up. Be, you should be the only Korean there. That'd be great. Wait, wait, wait. Let me ask you something. And this sound, this is really pissing me off. Yeah. You guys have a group, right? Because I'm sorry. Koreans have a group. You just no, no, no. no. All the, <laughs> oh, real fun. Real fun to attack. <laughs> that's good stuff. All right. I'm going to tell you guys something, right? Yeah. We, I used to be a part of Cape. Yeah. Right? I think you still are. You still are. They send you invites all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go Gilbert. Hey, do you think Bobby got that invite? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't know if he goes to Gallup. Anywho, right? I, I used to also, I hosted the Asian Excellence Award. There's another um, mm -hmm. Ching Festival. I, I don't know what you call them. <laughs> Ching. <laughs> Ching. Hey, Ching. Yeah, yeah. Ching Group. That's not going to get you in this year. Uh, oh, really? I'm not. Yeah. Oh, so my point is, is that, but when I was, when I participated in these groups, right, we invited every Asian in it. But you now you guys have a private Filipino one, bro. Most of Cape is Korean. Yeah, 
Let's be real. There's like one Filipino in Cape. Well, we're Filipinos we're had the to do best. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Dude. I mean, uh, we had to figure John it. Cho, Stephen Yoon. Hello, Daniel Day Kim. Bye bye. All right, Kalila, lay ours down. Yeah, we... Kalila Q. Oh, the brothers. You got the brothers. Oh, shut the. Fuck the what are they called? Uh, the Boscos. Uh, I don't care. Oh, it's... oh those. Bo- yeah, those brothers. Yeah. You guys have the Boscos. That's good. I love the Boscos. Yeah. Splash Brothers. You have the Splash Brothers. <laughs> Amazing. Great divers. <laughs> You have that lady that lifted the fucking weights. Uh, they got yeah. the gold. See, this is why <laughs> this is why the masala is important. Exists this because you oppress us. I'm not oppressing you. I'm. I really want to get to the fucking. What is the group? Then show up on Sunday. Yeah, show up on Sunday. Show, support the Filipino people. Support me. And then do a talk. But I, honestly, I will go if you call them and say I'm coming. Because I don't want to go there and have them look at me like, what's the fucking no, I'm, the, I'm, the, the big headed Korean? I'm going to tell Marie that you're going to give like a ten minute talk. No, I don't want to do a you talk. You have to. to support well, I'm not us. going then. You have to. I'm not going then. You have to improvise it. No. Here's what I'm going to do. All right. I'm going to put some stuff on my face to look Filipino. <laughs> right. Like what? Bronzer. Poo poo. poo. Wow. <laughs> no, no. All right. Uninvited. That's crazy. Okay. That's. Crazy. I'm kidding. I'm going to. I'm going to put a toner on. Right. What toner? Like the Filipino toner. How do you part. know about toner? Yeah, I'll put a toner on. Right. And then I'm gonna be more. I'm gonna walk a little more free. You know what I mean? Okay. Like you know, Paris is burning kind of a walk. <laughs> okay. Right. Like hi. Right. And then I think they'll buy it. Okay, I won't go. I think you should. Stop. I think yeah, you should I, I feel. I feel like. Am I? Did I insult you guys? I, I apologize. No, I think you should come though. Um, do you think you insult? No. It's a brunch, dude. You should come. You really. Can you call talk. and let know I'm I'll coming? Oh yeah. I will go. What, well, Claude? You okay with your if your Korean partner comes? Of course. I just don't want him to be like, shit, Rivers of the Philippines. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's just a movie that I'm pitching. <laughs> it's okay, a project. It's a I'm going to pitch them shit, Rivers of the Philippines. And I, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> you know, it's more of a you know, natural uh, dream. Why? I have a question. Why do Koreans really look down on Filipinos? We, we, honestly, we don't. But you do. I honestly believe I don't. I don't. I love you guys so much. Mm-hmm. But and I and I I'll, I'll, I want to say this, literally, I would feel more comfortable in Cebu yeah. than Seoul, Korea. In fact, if you said you can only live in these because two places, because Cebu is Seoul, Korea. All right. There's so many Koreans there. I know. Facts. It sucks. I know. Okay, I'd rather live in Manila <laughs> than Seoul, Korea. Wow. Yeah. I think you'd be more accepted for sure. Filipinos are like, you know, you loud, you funny, you are wild. We love you. Yeah. Also, when I I know like if I go to like when I'm in the Philippines, mm-hmm. every once in a while someone will go, "Hey." Oh, you like being recognized? No, just there. hear me out. <laughs> just hear me out. Okay. I'm hearing Papa. You know what? No. So, but in Korea, literally, they think that I'm like a rice carrier, <laughs> which is a very honorable. job. It's an honorable job. And if you write, carry rice, that's a good. Really, very important. Your back hurts, but uh, you know, <laughs> but uh, they they don't they look down on me. Mm. Mm, you yeah. know. But in uh, the Philippines. They love you. They love me. And I would, I'm a Filipino at heart. My I friend, love your people. Wow. My friend Peter has been begging for years for you to do a show in Manila. I and you know. keep saying no, no, no. I got to get your boy you, there. With no, me. you on your own, Bobby. Why do you think you have, you are going to kill it there. I promise you, I would not set you up for, for a failure. In 2023, I'll do it. Okay. Got it. You hear that, Peter? 2024. <laughs> 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 One of the 2000. Keep adding. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I will definitely do it, and I, I, you know, I have this fear of performing overseas, mm. because when I even when I play like Alabama, they look at me like I'll, what the fuck is this? I can promise you though, yeah, that your type of humor, how absolutely out of this world wild you are, yeah. is exactly what Filipinos love. Exactly, it is exactly what we love. Mm, interesting. Think about how many people in your show are Filipinos throughout your career. I love them a lot. Yeah. And I find, I mean, Andrew s- said something very interesting <laughs> at Magic Mountain. Please. My friend Andrew, I'm not, not Santino, somebody else. Some, <laughs> some guy named Andrew. Yeah, he goes, you know what? I just don't find fa- Korean women attractive. Wow. Okay. None right. of them. Just Korean or all Asian? Just, just Koreans in general. He goes, Japanese I love. Wow. Okay. China I love. I'm Koreans, surprised he knows the difference. He does, <laughs> he does apparently, yeah. right? And um, I disagreed. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we talked about Filipino women, uh-huh. and that's my preference. That's Gu- your preference. Yeah, and his preference. Gugu Gu Gaga. Oh. Mm. Yeah, Korean uh, Filipino women are beautiful. A thousand percent. Y- they really are. So are Filipino men. Filipino men are so good looking. They really are, and um, it's especially the um uppity ones. 
What are uppity? Yeah, what is an uppity Filipino man? You. <laughs> Ooh, he's saying you're cute, girl. Uh, okay. You're so <laughs> uppity, dude. All right. You do fine dining. I do. Yeah, you live downtown in a loft. He sent me a text earlier. He was like, at Kato, just as good. That's <laughs> so gross. Not just as good. No, I said, bro, bro, bro. It's good. Because you guys told me you went. Uh, by yeah. the way, the GM loves you guys. I We love them. We back. love them, too. Love right? You guys. Please have us back. But, dude, you were like a whimsical, wanderlusting homo when Ooh, I first met I'm you. I'm not the only yeah. wanderluster now. Right? Yes. I'll take that. And now look at you now. Uppity. This is what I t see. I feel like I'm not like these guys. I put hot Filipino men. Yeah. Yeah, because in Filipino media, they've always revered um, a mix of whiteness um, for a very, very long time. But I think the tide is slowly changing, and we're starting to see. I mean, is that even a Filipino? Also, I didn't say you were hot, fuckface. No, yeah, you did. No, I said you were uppity. Oh, I heard uppity it. doesn't it mean hot. He's very hot. No, you're like the Woody Allen of Philippines. <laughs> like uppity. Like Wait. Uh, high, yeah, not good looking, but okay. like have talent. Okay, I'll take, you know what? Yeah, I'll I mean, take that. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, That's great. You're not great. that at all. You're okay. unfuckable. Oh. You have women. From the waist down, you're a woman. I do have female hips. You, you know, your legs are very chunky Filipino-like. What? Look at my legs. Beautiful. I wish they were chunkier. Your legs yeah, are yeah, very yeah. American in that sense. Very Western. Yeah, but you're mixed with what French. Western legs. You're mixed with French. Yeah. I'm so confused. I didn't know that legs came in different. Yeah. Like, what are your legs? Terrible. He has I, the best legs. Oh my god, are you crazy? They're smooth, bro. Bobby, you have honestly like Scrubs. what men go to the gym for. You have naturally muscular, nice, thick legs. Do I have Nath Nathan Chen's legs? I've never seen Ooh, his legs. That's a good one. Yeah, he's the physical figure skater. I love your legs. You're so strong. Oh, thank you. I have great toes. Now you do. Yeah. Well, not these ones. They're dry. I'll oh, uh, there is one thing. People <laughs> have been uh, commenting, asking, man, I wonder what car Bobby got from the last episode. Is there an announcement? All right, so I have make an, I make an announcement. I make an announcement. I make an announcement. Huge announcement. <clears throat> so I get a car de delivered to my house. Don't yeah. give the model, okay? What? Don't give the model. I'm not, not going to get I, I got a nice car delivered to my house, right? And the car salesman bring, brings it to my house. Wow. And while she's pulling up to my driveway... <laughs> There's a little smoke <laughs> coming from the engine. Initial thoughts. At first, I thought it was like, oh, it's so fast. The wheels are like burning. Yeah. You know what like I mean? Fast and the Furious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is cool. But then it, it was definitely coming from the engine. <laughs> so we lifted up, and then it kind of dissipated. <laughs> and I didn't want to go like... Go back and get me another one. Another Why one, yeah. not? It's your car. You just spent a whole lot of money. I know, but I so I go. You know what? I go. She goes. Well, here's my cell. If anything goes wrong, just call me, right? So I go. All right, I'll just do that. So she goes back, <laughs> and I'm driving around town last night, and it seems fine. And I think the reason why is because I switch it to dynamic, mm -hmm. to um, comfort. There's like three different modes. Okay. And she headed on dynamic mode. But I'm just. Saying uh, okay. even in dynamic, your car shouldn't be on smoking. fire. It's not on fire. There's smoke. There's a difference between smoke and fire. But where, where there's, there's smoke, there's, there's fire. fire. That is true. <laughs> Dude, that's literally that is the true. That is true. You're right. And you know what? You guys are bright eyed and bushy tailed, <laughs> and, I, and I really, I really appreciate that. So when there's smoke, there's fire. fire. Right. So so right. So I could explode, but ship station. If you're selling stuff online, you need it. You guys, online shopping isn't slowing down anytime soon. Is your business ready to keep up the pace? With ShipStation, you'll never worry about shipping again. Make the switch to a solution that handles all your shipping needs quickly, affordably, and painlessly. Now, here at Tiger Belly, we use ShipStation to move all our merch, and we just like the reliable service. Save time by funneling all of your orders into one simple interface, no matter what you're selling. Amazon, eBay, Etsy, or even your own website. From anywhere, even your phone. No more headaches from dealing with returns and return tracking. ShipStation makes it easy. Plus, you save money when you compare carrier options and choose the best shipping solution every time. Save your sanity knowing your orders are handled and you're getting the best rates. Make shipping the easy part of having an online store. You have bigger ideas to think about. No wonder 98% of companies that use ShipStation for a year keep using it for as long as they're in business. Is that, it's that good. 
Ship more in less time with ShipStation. Use our offer code BELLY, B-E-L-L-Y, to get a 60-day free trial. That's two months free of no-hassle, stress-free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com. Click on the microphone on the top of the page and type in BELLY, B-E-L-L-Y, ShipStation. Make Make ship ship happen. happen. You know, (laughs) for right now, you know, um, I'm just going to drive it around. Yeah. You know, because if there's a problem, I'll just go to the Audi, Audi dealership and go, what's wrong with it? Mm. That's true. That's, right. That's how adults do it. That's how I do it. I'll do it. I'm not going to just let it explode and do nothing and buy yeah. another one. <laughs> no, this time. Well, I'm, historically, that's what I understand got. that. But this time I'm being grown. That's why I got a nice car. Like, so guys, you know, before I used to shit in my car, pee in it, smoke in it, throw burritos all around. It, it, ask any doorman. <laughs> At the comedy store, I had the most, the worst car you could imagine. Can I show you um, a meme of, um, I laughed so hard at because I was like, oh, this is, I think this is based on Bobby. But so what I decided to do because I got sober again and I, I'm not doing the porn and the cigarettes or none of that stuff. And I'm trying to really do it this time. I decided I'm going to get a nice car mm-hmm. and I'm going to treat it the way I'm gonna, I want to treat myself. So last night was... A real good test. You know what I mean? I didn't spit any sunflower seeds in there. Nice. You know, the toothpicks, you know, I have toothpicks. You know what I mean? I put them in the thing and I, I and I threw them out the window when I was done with it. Is that littering? It yeah. is wood. It's wood. Yeah. It's wood. Seeds are okay. I think that anything like banana peels or fruit. Those are okay? Yeah, but I mean, don't throw in the freeway so it hits another car. You know? But a toothpick? No, like a banana peel. You don't whiplash. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but is I can throw a toothpick out, right? Mm. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. you know, um, even if, like, a cop were to see you throwing anything out your window, yeah. you'll get pulled over Take and get it. a ticket. I have ne- I've thrown fucking radiators out of my car. I mean, I, it, no one's ever given me a ticket, right? I've thrown all kinds of stuff out of the car. Um, Gil, can you pull up that picture that I just sent you? Okay. This, was, this is you... Um, Back in the day before your new car, sweetie. This is what you look like with your Prius. I didn't get a picture. It's yet. on Tiger Belly. Um, oh, mine didn't go through yet. Let's see. Let's take a bit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, sent, I didn't get what when you sent it to me. Yeah, you don't yeah, understand see. memes I don't very know, well. Me, I don't understand memes at all. Mm-hmm. Also, I just want to announce May 5th. Can I just announce it? Yeah. So May 5th, there's a Netflix comedy festival in L.A., and um, Andrew Santino and I are going to do Bad Friends and Friends in the main room, May 5th. You hear, heard it here first. We have a great lineup. It's, it's okay. a live shot of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just put stuff in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is exactly what your Prius looks like. I know. Uh, but now it's just Jules. Wow. It's Jules oh, and Prius. Can, you, can I tell you guys a really scary story? What happened? So... Um, Bobby, usually Jules comes home from school at a certain time and Bobby was waiting for her because he needed the car. <sighs> and so we were like, Jules, where are you? And she's like, I'm on the side of the freeway. And I'm like, why are you the side of the freeway? And it turns out the brakes stopped working. Oh my God. And I had been telling them, so the brake light had been on for about a whole year and I had been telling the both of them, I'm like, that's really dangerous. That's really, da- take it to Toyota, take it to Toyota. And they're like, nah, 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 those lights stay on forever. <laughs> sure or enough, it Jules was, a- was coming down the 170 and thank God there weren't a lot of cars around because mm. she stepped on the brake and it just would not stop. And so she had to, she, I don't know how she made it how safely. Did it stop at but a she, highway? She um, so she released the the gas yeah. and then she put it on. She didn't hit the e brake right away, but she I forgot what she did, but she didn't spin out or anything. So oh, she must have done something shit. right. My plan backfired. You but tried- do you know what? <laughs> yeah, my, Wait, what I'm you- the one that unhooked the the brake. I'm the one that did all that. And I, oh I looked on the internet. Okay. <laughs> and I, I forgot to do one little step, but um, my plan didn't work. But do you know what she said? Right. <laughs> what? She was like, I genuinely thought I was gonna die. Imagine stepping on a brake, and she was like, I was going like 70 miles an hour. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She called crying? She was rattled. Yeah. Yeah, she was rattled. We were really worried, but um, she's alive. Plan back. So, Plan back so it didn't, she, didn't die. she didn't die. She's fine. I yelled at the both of them so hard that night. I know, but it's like, you know, here's the thing, all right? 
not only the brake light wasn't working, all the lights. So if you looked at the little thing, right, it was like there was six different lights going on, right? Brake, engine, you know what I mean? Yeah. The sw swervy one. Yeah. You're like a sw right? So I just thought that the the whole car was breaking down. Yeah. Right? So who knows? The what? brakes were the ones that went first. Exactly. Right? But if the swervy thing would have went first, then, you know, it would have been lesser. I don't know. It's her car. She's been – listen <laughs> – it's her responsibility. There you go, Peter Parker. Your responsibility. It's your resp oh. right? Mm -hmm. But she takes after you so much because she thinks. I know you don't oh. think she loves you, but she, you know, you're the cool guy in her life. You're Uncle Ben. I'm not Uncle. Your uncle. She hates me. She. Are you crazy? She acts just like you. That's she doesn't the, clean I, the car. She, she doesn't. I'm I'm influencing her in the wrong way then, because of the, there are other aspects of my, me right that she should have taken on, but she hasn't. Such as? Such as, like, I like to talk. Oh. <laughs> I communicate yeah, with I people. Yeah, I like to communicate with people. Like, <laughs> last night, she, you, when you came home and you were laying on the bed, she laid next to the couch, <clears throat> and you guys just started talking. And I looked at her and I go, w we were in the house a week alone together. We, how come we never do this? Mm. And she's like, I don't know. Because you, you... She doesn't want to talk to me. Yeah. About anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Unless I'm, like... You know, we took her to Magic Mountain. She talked to me then. Yeah. But it's only, like, am I going to die? Like, like simple <laughs> things, you know what yeah. I mean? Dude, Magic Mountain, you, we got to go as a group. Did you have fun? When's the last time you went? Never here in California. When's oh, the last really? Time you went? I've been to Six Flags and other places. Never here. Chicago, yes. Yeah, the last time I went, I was in high school. That's the last time I went to Six Flags. It, so dude, all the new rides I haven't been on. It was, there was one ride I refused to go. I, I mean, Andrew just goes bag to me. I go, What's it called? The Superman's Revenge or something. Mm. Wait, but Superman's been there for a while, right? I will not go on it. It looks so terrifying. What kind of does it look like? Just uh, straight down? Yeah, it's one of those ones that you go straight up and yeah. then straight down. Yeah. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? I don't like the, uh, you're that like, one. you know what I mean? Oh, that one, that one. Yeah. Right here, yeah. You go up and down. Oof. Like, I don't want to be falling and then grabbing my lungs and my innards <laughs> above me. You know what I mean? I don't want that. Whoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that looks just, look at how would yeah, that's Would you do that? No, I hate it. <laughs> See, I told you. So like, you sweat it. just by looking at yeah. it. Right? I should all just do it, though. But the noise it makes what is because we walked underneath it because we didn't know we were underneath it. Uh -huh. We were the. <laughs> and people, ah! <laughs> that was the sound. And people, ah! you know, it was so terrifying. Yeah. But we went on an X2, Tansu, okay. Viper. We went on the Riddler's Revenge. But I was so proud of Jules, you know, before going yeah, on the Jules ride. Jules is terrified of roller coasters. Oh, so wow. yeah. before they went, she I had to give her like a two hour pep talk. Like, you're not gonna die, you're not gonna die. Yeah. She begged not to go. Yeah. But X two, so that was the that was the scariest one, apparently. Mm -hmm. So that was the first one we put her on. Mm. And you go up backwards. <laughs> yeah. Right? And she she had her head tilt back <laughs> like this. And she was doing a prayer. <laughs> like, I've never... She's not religious. Like, oh, Jesus. You know what I mean? <laughs> and literally, like, her mouth was foaming. <laughs> At the end, her eyes were, like, you know what I mean? Like, what are you, fluttering? Mm -hmm. And she was foaming. And I thought she was having a fucking stroke. Oh, no. Yeah. Jesus. And I looked at her. Are you, are you okay? She goes, I'm fine. I'm fine. But then when we went on Tatsu, which is the second scariest one, apparently. Chill. No, but still <laughs> lesser. And then after Viper, because I, I told her that she could only do three. She, I, I have to do three. She goes, I'll do all of them. No. Impressive. Wow. And I literally wanted to cry because it's, she conquered her fear. And that's why you need to eat a cockroach. Whoa. I love that. I, you know, honestly, Good I'm like, I love for that. her to do those rides, you have to eat a cockroach. Can I tell you, you eat it? I'll you know, eat it with you. I have you. made leaps and bounds, and I really am proud of the improvements I've made in the cockroach department because um, last week I picked up a water bottle mm. and I drank it, and a cockroach apparently did, was on the mouthpiece that I didn't know, and it ran up my face. And uh, what I did was <laughs> I didn't scream. What? I what? just threw the water bottle on the bed. And the, all of the That's water exactly poured into the bed. So I the quietly bed. did this, and I was in <laughs> under the shock. blankets. Yeah, yeah. But another time, um, about a <clears> month <throat> ago, I was sleeping on a futon, and a cockroach took a, a walk down memory lane. By memory lane, I meant my whole body wow. from head to God. toe while I was asleep. Yeah. 
and I did want to <laughs> yeah, 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 this, yeah. and then I was able to go back to sleep. That's not what I'm talking about. Eat a cockroach. <laughs> I, 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 you're trying to get out of something, right? Good defense, or, but yeah, not good enough. Yeah, yeah, not good enough. And because then, those are accidental, you know what I mean? I, what, what I want you to do is know it's going to happen. Yeah, because that's what Jules did. And, we, you know, it's all about walking through fear, mm. you know, on the show, right? <laughs> Nosotros Papaya, the Slut King is here. And what I want to say is I'm not woke, and, and, but we still need to grow. Wait, live cockroach? Yeah, live cockroach. You know what? You do it first. Small or big? Ger all, German or Filipino? We all do it next week. What? Which one's bigger? Are, are the German ones racist? Germans are small. <laughs> yeah. Hein. Hein. <laughs> you know, they, they come in numbers, but they're small. Those are the German cockroaches. All right. We'll just do one German one, right? And we'll do all Live? four. Live? Yes. Everyone uh, in this room will uh, do it. Excuse me. We're not bringing cockroaches to this house because they- We'll eat them. We'll four. Eat them. They're going to- Four. Have sex and then they're going to be no, no, everywhere no. here. We have four in a fucking bottle or whatever, oh, right? Oh, just oh. listen, okay? Yeah. If we're going to eat four- their ghosts aren't going to fucking haunt the house. Mm -hmm. Do insects have ghosts? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I've always thought about this. It's like, like, imagine like all the humans have lived on Earth, right? So you're talking about there's billions of billions and billions and trillions of souls up there, human. Mm -hmm. But then imagine like all the dogs and cats and animals bugs. up there that have lived and bugs. Do they go up there as well? Because no thank you then. <laughs> you know what I mean, That's, imagine like ten billion fucking. There we go. Oriental's bigger than German. I like that. Yeah, but the American is king. Look at it. Look at that American. Yeah, yeah. Let's do the brown banded <laughs> German one. Oh, you can eat the German. It's you can tiny. eat the German one. You Look at it. She's itchy, dude. Look at the little German one. Oriental. <laughs> you just want to keep. Saying I don't like an Oriental. <laughs> Oriental. <laughs> Orient. <laughs> We are Oriental. Look at her. She's here. She's here. Yeah, we'll take a break, guys. We'll after break. that. It's Tiger Belly. Let's um, properly introduce you. Sure. This next young lady um, is one of the funniest females on planet Earth. With humans, I mean. Yeah, because I'm not fully female. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she's one of the funniest humans on planet Earth. Um, but it's you know, it, there's something else about her that I, I feel safe around her. <gasps> I love that, Bobby. I do. I feel so safe around you. I feel like you understand um, who I am and where I'm coming from because you and I have the same kind of issues and whatnot, mm -hmm. right? And um, I don't know. I just really do love you. I don't know you that well, but I, I, I feel like I am through time. That's true. It's I, I feel like that with you too. I do. Yeah. And I am safe. I mean it. Yeah, yeah. I'm a pretty. Jessica safe. Kirsten, give it, give her a round of applause. <laughs> yeah. Um, let, let me. You don't live. You live here now, right? No, no. I live in New York. You still there? Yeah. yeah. You've been out here a lot, though. I mean, I've been out here. Yeah, I was here like four months ago or something. I can't live here unless I. If I had, if I had a job, I would live here. But I could never live here unless I had a job. Like well, a job. But, but when you do your podcast with Sarah, for instance, you do it here. No, I do it in New York. I have, a, I have a, a, a podcast in New York. And she flies there to do it, or yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, like wow. people, I, I interview comics in New York. But I'm like, I'm New York based because I have a wife and a kid, kids in New York. Okay, I'm not accusing you of anything. I know that's I, how I talk. It's Jewish and New York. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like I'm screaming yeah. at someone all the time. Yeah, because I've just seen you a lot here. That's all. That's why I'm saying it. You know, I don't I mean? like the way you're talking to me. I, this is <laughs> the way I do it. You know what I mean? Um, so, so you live in New York, mm -hmm. but um, I have to say, you know, when I was using drugs again, right? I I remember being really drunk and high. And I figure I was in Hawaii or something. Yeah. And I curled up into a little ball. And I thought about the conversation you and I had mm. before I went out at the comedy store behind that wall. Yeah. And we were leaning up against that wall. And we were talking about weed and whatnot. And, you know what I mean? And how scary and this and that, right? But um, I don't know why, but like when I was doing it, doing drugs and alcohol again, I just thought about you oh. and that conversation. I don't know why that popped in my head, but I remember like getting sober again, going, I wish I can see her again, you know what I mean? Oh. And tell her, but 
because I've seen you a couple of times this week. Yeah. I also love seeing you with Sarah, my ex girlfriend. Yeah. Do you know that we used to bang? Yes. <laughs> Mainly. Yeah, yeah. Does that seem weird to you visually? No. Yeah. I mean, I, I get it. I get why the two of you were together. You're so both so brilliantly funny. I mean, I understand the connection. Yeah, but just visually, it looks... Yeah, good. yeah. I, I mean, I understand visually why it's <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even like, you know, I had to like... Uh, be easy on that. Don't be too descript. Yeah. 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 So what is what, what I'm doing right now... <laughs> What yeah, is what this? is this? Yeah, what is this we, right now that's gonna it's freaking you guys out? You're doing a pull up. That's yeah. It. yeah. No, I'm just saying if she was on top, can I say that? I am right? maybe. Man. Yeah. Her shoulders are up here like this. Mm. Yeah. She's a tall She's a tall girl. Very that's supermodel all. Yeah, very yeah. long torso and, yeah. and this. That's all. And also may I mention that when you went out, the amount of times that I called Sarah bawling my eyes out and her talking me off a ledge. Yeah. I mean, she really, really helped me out. Yeah, talking you off a ledge. Yes, she's very supportive and so yeah, giving that way and she's, she's amazing. Yeah, yeah, she's she's amazing. Amazing. she really is. She really is heart. Dee just a great heart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have a great heart too, even though it's like you know protected by with a lot of thorns. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I actually, I'm, I'm too good a lot of the time. Yeah. You know, I can really be too open and too, too loving and giving and get hurt a lot. I have to. I, I need. I've actually been talking about that and thinking about that a lot. I need to be more protective of my heart. Uh, you know, my therapist is like, you need to have a shield, and we need to create a shield. I'm like, what kind of fucking shield? Like, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do I have to carry around a shield like Roman? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds nuts, but I think I do have to create some kind of shield because I do let people in a little too much sometimes, and and yeah, I, I, mean, I get you know I get I I get uh, coerced sometimes, and it's not good. Yeah, you yeah. seem like you have a lot of empathy. Yeah, I do. But when you get angry, do you get angry? I do. Yeah, but it takes a lot. I mean, yeah, I get angry on the street and people annoy me, but I, <laughs> I it takes a lot to really get me enraged if mm. I'm close to someone. But once you cross that line, it's you're out. Mm. It takes a long time, but how do you yeah. deal with rejection? Do you get really sad like I do? I I do, but I I can get back up and keep going. I mean, I think you that's the only way if you, if you're in this business, you have to you wouldn't be in this business that long if you weren't able to get back up and keep going, right? Yeah, but why do we do it? Cuz we're miserable people. I mean, you <laughs> Yeah, I mean, because be when you get back up, you're sick. like, why am I getting back up? I should just lay down. Yeah. Well, no, because we're sick. You have to be really fucking crazy to be in this business and keep going. We would not be in it this long unless we were out of our minds. Don't what, you agree? But isn't the point, though, to get healthier and so we're not sick? And then so what does that mean? I mean, I think we keep getting healthy, but you you can't you have to be pretty not OK to be in the stay in this business. Right. Don't you agree? I think so. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like once you're really like you're, you can't get too healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who in this business is really yeah. healthy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't yeah. You agree? Right. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, there's something in like I remember like last night I went at the improv, and I just I, for some reason the audience wasn't great, and I was just walking down the stairs and I turned to a girl and I go, "Am I out of my mind? What am I doing this for?" You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> But that's like every time. Like sometimes I'll, I'll be doing something. You know, I'll be dancing on stage or I, I, in a movie. I'm doing something. Or I'm like, am I out of my mind? This is stupid. You know what I mean? What am I doing this for? You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like, but why do you think we do it? Because we need we need it? Well, I always say on stage, like I, I think I need the attention and I need all that. But then after everyone's clapping and screaming, even if they stand up, I'm like, no matter what you do, it'll never fill the hole. Like no matter, like it'll never fill that hole. Yeah, yeah. That comes from mom. That didn't happen. Like she never held me enough. She wasn't around That's enough. That's what so, it is. Yeah, the, yeah. No matter what they do, that hole is deep and it'll never get filled. Yeah. And it'll never get filled by pills or pot or coke or, yeah, or women or anything. So I don't know what will ever fill it, but I'm always looking for something to I fill got, it. I got holes to fill. Yeah, <gasps> yeah. Don't say that around me. <laughs> <laughs> She's got juicy holes to I fill. I know. Stop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Juicy holes. Yeah. You know what's funny when I <laughs> <laughs> we went through this when I, I did her. I, I, I don't know. So what you're saying to me I'm is talking. sorry, Jess. Sorry. No, no, no. Uh, listen, Jess. What I'm saying, and I, I'm totally cool with it. If I, if your wife was okay with it, yeah, right. And I was okay with it, 
right? Just hear me out, right? Yeah. And I go, go ahead. Yeah. Would you? Uh, what are you kidding? <laughs> you would? That's like asking me if I want a bagel with cream. <laughs> Yeah, but now let me. Of course, she's gorgeous. Let me what, up the ante. Can I up the ante? Ridiculous Annie? question. Up it, up, I'm gonna up it, right? Up okay. It. So what if I? That's the deal, right? But what if I said, but I get to masturbate? Oh, I don't care about that. And the wow. I think you too. would because I'm gonna be saying commentating. <laughs> like, are you? That's say, it, Jess. Well, if you were that's like, that's the if one. You, were, you, know you can talk in German. <laughs> How would that go, Bobby? I don't know. That. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get on the train. 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 We're going to Auschwitz. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I put you in the ditch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I don't. I don't. Mm, I don't care if you were me because I trust you and feel safe with you. But if it was a stranger, like some gross guy, uh -huh. I don't think I could do it. Mm. Uh, can I up the ante a little bit more? Though. Oh no! Uh, let me up one more level, right? Oh no! Okay. Why? Why? All right. No. So what do we said? You can do this, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but at the same time, I make love to your wife. No. Oh, there he is. Why? There's the line. Because number one, number one. I I promise you this. And she's gorgeous. Yeah. So that's you're lucky. I'm, she's they not call, on they, a track. They called me two pump Trump. In high school. Oh, it's only two in? Yeah, yeah. Two right. pumps, I'm probably out. Okay. I'll, I'll be sleeping. All right. Right. Honestly, yeah. just 11 and a half seconds. Matt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 11 and a half. 12, 12, 12 seconds. 12 seconds. 11 and Can I get 12 seconds? <laughs> you, don't, 12 you don't have to cut that. 12 seconds 12. of misery. Yeah, That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 you seconds are of misery. 12 seconds of misery is yeah, yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to be, oh, uh, uh, I'm done. All right. Sleep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so that's cool. Just in a fantasy, yeah. Yeah. You know what? Our our swingers club is very. Um, <laughs> we cannot um, do anything outside of our circle with randos. Yeah, we because can. it's okay. just unsafe. It's unsafe. Yeah. yeah. Can you wear a Ju Julia Robert Roberts like face mask? <laughs> <laughs> but from what movie? Like conspiracy theory from that movie, or yeah, or that's fine. Movie? Okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> um. Uh, back to something that I wanted to say is when I was in high school, <laughs> not high school, when I was 20 years old, right, <laughs> I met this guy named Mike Carano, mm -hmm. and he was the manager of the improv in Pacific Beach. This is probably 1992, mm -hmm. a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And I was working at a coffee shop, and I, and I worked with this girl that was dating Mike Carano. Anyway, one night he goes, come down to the improv because I manage it. He managed it with Dave Becky. You know Dave Becky of from course, Free Arts? Of course, yeah, yeah. So um, I went there, and, I, and Bobcat – Goldwith was performing. Yeah. And I was on, st I just mesmerized by him. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And I remember him after the show, you know, they said goodbye to him and he signed autographs, took photos, whatever. And he got in a cab and he drove away. And in my head, I'm like, well, he's going to some fucking amazing party. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's going to be knee deep in cocaine and pussy. <laughs> right. But the reality is, he went to a hotel and just sat on his bed sad. Mm. Oh. But the, but the mystique of it, right. Like a lot of people like probably look at us go, right? They probably have these exciting lives and this and that. <laughs> but really at the end of the day, we're just like the guy that works at Wingstop. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> maybe just, even we're, way we're, more miserable. Yeah, maybe more miserable. Because he's going to Magic Mountain with his friends. Yeah, he's gonna play video games yeah. and have fun yeah, and yeah. laugh and like yeah. Yeah. Have you just sat on a couch and just looked down on the ground and just Have I ever not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How much can I talk about how much sobriety you have? Yeah, sure. How much do you have? Well, I had years uh -huh. and then I went out during uh during COVID. What I, I have a year and I have a year and seven months back. Wow. Completely off of everything. Yeah. Um my you know, I wasn't working a program. I I started smoking pot. My dad <clears throat> passed away, unfortunately, a month mm -hmm. into COVID. And I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't going to meetings. I wasn't reaching out. Yeah. And he had a very aggressive pancreatic cancer. Oh, my God. Sorry, and yes. thank Sorry. you. And it was horrible because it was during COVID. So no, you know, we're Jewish. So no shiva, just a wedding. I have a wedding. God, that's crazy. <laughs> We had a wedding when he passed. <laughs> Weird. We had a huge Jewish wedding and yeah, everyone yeah. came with Matt. No. Um, and so five of us just standing there with masks on just buried him. It was horrible. And um, so 
I I didn't have support at anything, and I just started, you know, smoking pot and. And, and that's all you, know, you did. No, I and I started taking pills and Ambien, which is dangerous for me. You know, a lot of see a lot of people do. This is the thing in California. Oh, I I'm sober. I smoke pot. You know, for me, I, I counted days. I, I that's not sober for me. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. not sober for me. Definitely not. I know. I Definitely know. For not. you too. This yeah, is yeah. what you and I talked about. Yeah. So I had to start over. It killed me, but I had to start over in day one, day two, and. Um, and so now I have a year and seven months and, um, awesome. I work a very strong program. I'm, awesome. I have a sponsor and I go to meetings and I sponsor someone and I, you know, whatever. But, um, I, I'm a bad addict, you know, I'm, I'm a garbage can and I'll do whatever I can do to, to get high, whatever it is, no matter, it doesn't matter. I haven't had a drink in 22 years. Yeah. Um, alcohol is just not my thing, but yeah. Pot. Like you and I have talked about. Well, that I mean, and that was the thing I would say that drove me back in sobriety. And I, I think when people hear that, they go, well, how? I know. Do you eat too many Cheetos? I mean, yeah. whatever that might be. But it's like, it's all mental with me. Right? Me too. Right. I, I started going crazy in my mind. Me too. Right. And people are like, well, you haven't had a drink in 22 years. What's yeah. the big deal? I'm like, you don't understand. If I smoke pot, yeah. I smoke pot 24 hours. I will get up to pee and smoke 17 bong hits. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Me too, me too, me too, okay. me too. Me too. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's, it's, it, I'll, I'll eat 46 gummies and take, you know, five ambient. Like, yeah. I'm not okay. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. When I'm I, a I went drug to, addict. One time I went, to, which is a you know what I mean a store by my house, and I walked in and the guy that worked there he goes, again, oh. and I'm it was like embarrassing. Yeah. I, there, I was there the day before and the well, day before that. I think you told me that you yeah. stopped going to two different dispensaries because they were legitimately like worried about you. Yeah, because they, they would look at him and be like, dude, that's yeah. Didn't you say somebody called you from a dispensary? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 And said, we're worried about Bobby. Like, they would. When, they, when dispensaries are calling friends me. on, we're worried. <laughs> no, there's a problem. I would get DMs. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. hey, just so you know, like, yeah. Bobby's relapse. Yeah. Like, before uh, you even told me. Yeah. Can I also say something about, like, on the edible, just give me a dosage amount. You need instructions. I need instructions yeah. because I just, I take the whole thing. It's. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, if there's, you know, 16 gummies that come in a thing, they're gone in an hour. Holy shit. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I want to know, like, one or two every other day. You weren't going to abide I know I wasn't, those. but I wouldn't have to take 16, I don't think. You would have? Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And and you know, with pot, it's so hard because it's very frustrating because people go, "What's the big deal? It's only pot." It's like, no, it is a fucking big deal. Like, it's it's heavy shit. Yeah, yeah. It's and and don't I, I hate when people say to me like, "Why can't you just have a little pot?" Because I can't. Yeah. Don't ask me that. I'm a I'm an addict. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mm -hmm. can't have it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can't. I, you and I are so similar. It's in so many really. It's yeah. really weird. It's like, don't ask me that why I can't. I just can't. Yeah. You know, and they want you to. I think a lot of people want me to, to smoke pot or to <laughs> eat a bowl. Like, <laughs> they really want me to to make themselves feel better. Yeah. yeah. Like they, they want me to so that they can do it and feel okay about it because they're addicts. Yeah. There's also a group at the store yeah. that when I went out, I was doing weed with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm sober, I can see them. Yeah. Forcibly distancing some self. Of course, me. they're gonna do that, Bobby. but but they're not doing it. I don't think because they just w don't want to. I guess like you know entice me, or mm. they're they, just trying to be cool or whatever. Of course. But it's like you can say hi. Yeah, you know what they, I mean. They don't want to entice you, and also, you know, a lot of people who know they shouldn't be using. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, we've been through. Yeah, that. we've been through that. Yeah, of yeah. Of course. Yeah, they they don't. They they know they shouldn't be using, so yeah, they yeah. don't they don't really want to hang around. Uh, with <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I crossed lines I never thought I would. Like, you're never gonna smoke pot and act in a show. Yeah. And here I am, high on a set. You know what I mean? Not knowing my lines I know. and being scared. Yeah. And going, what the fuck is going on? Like things like that. It's just it's so scary. But you know what's good about us though? We have high bottoms nonetheless, though. Mm hmm. I do. I right. Do. Yeah. Like I, I don't lose everything. You know what I mean? No. Once I see I, I can foresee into the future. Right. So I'm like, OK, 
Every day for the last two months, I've been acting like this. I can pretty much guarantee I'm going to be doing this. And I can see slowly things fall apart. Me too. You can, right? So yeah. we nip it in the butt before we lose it all. Is that what you do? 100%. Yeah. Thank God I'm lucky because yeah. I've actually saved myself where I'm like, here we go. This is not going to go well. Um, I mean, the last time I did have my therapist and my wife and my mother like say, you have to, like, this is it. You got to go get some help because this is not going very well. <laughs> like, you're falling asleep with like chips on your chest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have like Tostitos hanging out of your <laughs> fucking face. And yeah, yeah. This is not going very well. We got to. For him, he was getting these like what he called his tundra attacks where he would just freeze like his body would be shivering. And mm. I think it was like one night at like three in the morning. He was like this. Like just in the standing, dark, just in the standing, dark, frozen. like this, it's just frozen. And he was like, am I moving? <laughs> <laughs> and I had to. <laughs> <laughs> Am I moving? Yeah. I thought I was running, but I wasn't. And he's like, I was just frozen. Yeah, can you help me? <laughs> yeah. So I had to touch him to unfreeze him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like it was like freeze tag. It was like, it was like freeze, freeze tag. It was like a weird game. <laughs> but I literally could not move. Like I was yeah. so frozen. Yeah. And you know, it's like, and also my psychiatrist said, you know, there have been studies when people have the kind of life I've had, trauma, yeah, right? Yeah. That when you smoke weed it does the adverse effect, mm -hmm. right? So it doesn't make you sleepy or, you know what I mean, or hungry. For me, I couldn't sleep and I couldn't eat. That's what happened with me. I stopped smoking weed uh, years ago because in the beginning it was fine, it was fine, and then I just started becoming more and more paranoid. Yeah. And then I would get severe panic attacks. And then it dawned on me, I was like, okay, like I'm a child of extreme trauma and unresolved trauma. I shouldn't be kicking the, the dirt up in here you know, with um, anything like psychoactive like mm -hmm. that. Cause yeah. I just don't know what I'm kicking up and I would have really extreme panic attacks. Have either one of you ever done trauma work? Yeah. Okay, cause I did, when I relapsed, I went away and I did major trauma work. I went to a trauma center. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know where it was, but what state was it in? Florida. Uh, I went to Arizona. Okay. I went I, to a place specifically for trauma. Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I did. Yeah. Um, Because of my dad and whatever. And I did some heavy duty work. Yeah, yeah. EMDR? It, yes. I did, well, I did ART, which is the same thing, but same in thing. one session at a time. Wow. This is hilarious. I did equine therapy. Have you ever done that he, with a horse? He hates equine therapy. Oh my God. What is that? I, I love equine therapy. I was therapy. so traumatized because the horse had a hard on. <laughs> And that, it was the most traumatizing thing that ever. <laughs> and besides that, it yeah. was 150. I was in the Florida in August. <laughs> so the horse's <laughs> cock was this big. It was, <laughs> yeah. Its leg was bleeding. Yeah. The horse's oh. leg was bleeding and a fly flew in my ear. Yeah. <laughs> so in my ear was zzz, 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 in yeah. my ear. And I was like, get me the fuck out of You know, I'm like this Jewish girl from New Jersey. Like I had just gotten there. It was so traumatized. But if the horse had like a beefy like vagina, would that have traumatized you? Oh no, I would have like gone down. <laughs> I'm fisting myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Would you say you identify as being crypto curious? Okay, could I just do a theme song real quick? Yep. Coin, coin, base, coin, coin, base. Okay, go ahead. Sweetie. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you for your song. Thank you. Now, would you say you identify as being crypto curious? I am crypto curious. I'm fully bored. Well, if you've thought about entering the world of cryptocurrency, uh -huh. but feel a little bit overwhelmed like my lover Bobby, Coinbase makes learning to buy and sell really simple. And uh, and I'm kind of a dum-dum with this stuff, but with Coinbase, it sort of just makes everything very, very simple. The interface is really easy to work with. Coinbase offers a trusted and easy-to-use platform to buy, sell, and spend cryptocurrency. You're smart. 
They support the most popular digital currencies on the market and make them accessible to everyone. They offer portfolio management and protection, learning resources, and a mobile app so you can trade securely and monitor your crypto all in one place. On Coinbase, on Coinbase. For a limited time, new users can get $10 in free Bitcoin when you sign up today at coinbase.com slash belly. Sign up at coinbase.com slash belly for $10 in free Bitcoin. This offer is for a limited time only. So be sure to sign up today. That's coinbase.com slash belly. Say it again. That's coinbase. Say it again. That's coinbase.com slash belly. And we all used Coinbase long before they were a sponsor. We, uh, Clyde and I. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've had Coinbase forever. Ever since. I have it too now. A couple of years ago, George, when you were like, don't be dumb, get Ethereum. I had I 15 like, years ago. Yes, before you. Coinbase. Before all you wasn't even a thing, I did it. Bobby's a pioneer. He's yeah. been had Coinbase. Yeah. I do Ruby. No, it's super easy to use. It's like one of the yeah, the easiest way to get into crypto if you want to. <laughs> yeah, no, it was like, uh, but I, I did a lot of like breath work, which is heavy and pounding pillows and fucking I did. It was good work. Wow. I, mean, I felt really good after doing <laughs> 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 so, so, so I think that's also our similarity. So, what did your dad? How was? How were you traumatized as a kid? Did you oh, get, bad! You no, talk about, my, talk my, about my dad. Wow, my dad was the funniest person I've I, I've known. I mean, that's a huge statement. We've met. I've met the most famous comics in the world. But yeah. I got my sense of humor. He was brilliantly funny, but boy, did he have a temper. Yeah. And he was, I'm talking like if he was pissed, he wouldn't even say anything, but he would just slam his head into a cabinet. Wow, like, yeah. Like just hit his head or just, when he would scream, he would actually start singing. Like that's how insane, like, I don't like the way for ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, yeah, just wow. screaming and yet like, you know, his veins would, so it was, I didn't get hit, but just screaming, fucking rage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was, you know, cursing and, and name calling and, you know, it was a lot. It was a lot. But he was also the one who was there for me, who took me to doctor's appointments. Like, he was the one who showed up. So it was very confusing and hard. You know, he really... Well, he probably had his own trauma. He did. That he never he dealt did. with he it. It's major. generational. My grandmother was not yeah. great. It yeah. was... So um, it was it was tough and it was scary. Uh, now, is Zach your up. older or younger brother? So Zach Braff is my stepbrother. Your stepbrother. Yeah. Oh. So I had once uh, an older sister growing up, and I had um, my both parents. You know, they got divorced. My mom uh, got remarried to Zach's father, and there were four kids. And my dad got remarried to a younger woman, and they had two kids. So, did you grow up in your dad's house or your mom's? Both. House? Both. So go I, back and I forth. went from house to house. And my mom was a therapist. My mom still is a therapist. Oh, wow. And she, you know, wasn't around a lot. She was helping other people. So my dad really showed up and and took care of me a lot. Yeah. But it was confusing because my mom was out helping the world, <laughs> and meanwhile we were home, kind of like you know, the kids that took care of ourselves and she's like taking care of other people. It was, it was, you know, it was that is a lot. Confused. That was what was most confusing about my childhood too, is that my mom was our primary caretaker, but she was my primary abuser. So it <laughs> was know. the most confusing part of it is like, she's putting food on the table. I can see that it's really, she really is doing her best. Right. He did his but best. He, he, she just is, you know, she doesn't know how much you know, pain she's actually like inflicting. She just has, she's, un, she's unaware. Yeah, he did the best he could from what he knew. And yeah. he did, he was, he was great a lot of the time. But when he was, when he was off, he was really mm -hmm. off and it was, it was bad. There was a lot of, you know, name calling and I, my self image really suffered from it. Bad. Yeah. Because yeah. it was a lot about looks. A lot. Uh, you know, there was uh, a lot of name calling and weight stuff and, yeah. you know, fat this and mm. bad words. And uh, boy, it, it really and it caused me I, I got very, very heavy as a kid to piss them off. Both oh, wow. of my parents, wow. I blew the fuck up. Yeah, because I'm like, you want to call me fat and whatever? I'm gonna blow. I'm gonna be the blueberry girl. Like I'm gonna fucking blow up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. serious. I, I'm, I I joke about it in my act. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, Call me fat bitch and this whatever. I'm gonna fucking become 300. I mean, I really got. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I did the same. I mean, I was what? like, hey, mom and dad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they couldn't even look at me. Yeah. 
you know, like, they got pissed because that was my way of being like, fuck wow. you. Wow. And kids do that. Yeah. You know, you get negative attention. Mm-hmm. It's some kind of attention. Yeah. Well, like what I got like as a kid, like maybe a B and a C and my dad took a fucking golf club and just beat me because I didn't get A's. Right. So I got straight F's from then on. Right. Same, thing. same kind of thing. Like, fu- I was always like, yeah, well, fuck you. Yeah, me right? too. All the other kids, my cousins and stuff, right? They all got straight A's and they all went to Ivy League schools. But every once in a while, a kid will go, nah, mm-hmm. I'm going to go the other way. I was the opposite. So I was, I walked a very, very straight line because she beat me into having straight A's. I never, I was too afraid to get the F's because yeah. I was just so, I was plucking wire from my mouth because she, Ugh. you know, punched my braces into my. Jesus. Oh my God. So I was I'm so just, horny. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the truth. <laughs> Uh, how much blood? How much blood? <laughs> <laughs> I just making her. I knew it would make her laugh. <laughs> wait, what about the? Yeah. <laughs> does that? Wait, who wait, does that? 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 You who wanna, does that in a? I got. I got. Just, I got. Yeah. Rubbing their nipples like that. Does that feel good? This? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course yeah, not. That, that would sure, throw really me off. Like, it really should be like this. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I got right. one better for you. I got one better for you. When I first came to America, I got fisted by my family doctor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. Wait, I thought you were going to do the next part. <laughs> that was too That's boring. a little too dark. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys! Oh. I was gonna turn everyone on in the room. That got weird. No, I, that's sad. No, that got it weird. Didn't get weird. <laughs> I, I talk about it. I was molested in fat camp. Does that make you feel better? Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> was the uh, was it a camp counselor? Yeah. Was he fat as well? No. Oh. I think he was turned on by fat kids. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I, I did too. Yeah, yeah. You, you did. I've always been with like I love I love plush. Plush is my thing. Oh, I don't God. like. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a you know a slender I don't I'm not attracted to slender people yeah I've seen you date <laughs> hot guys though but never in long-term relationships think about it right all long terms have been with plush plush mm, types mm-hmm. so um when you're in LA do you see Zach at all or no yeah yeah yeah, I, oh, I, I I normally stay with Zach uh-huh. in his guest house, but he's his whole thing, his whole guest house and everything. He's editing his movie that he made with Morgan Freeman and um, and wow. Molly Shannon and his girlfriend oh. with Lawrence Plew. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. When he back in the day when he got um, Scrubs and all that, were you proud of him? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah he yeah. was a child actor, so he was auditioning every day. Oh, I, mean, I didn't he was, know. People think he just like got famous. He was like really going on auditions daily as a as a little kid. Mm-hmm. He's really, you know, because you're such a nice person. He really is a nice guy. Yeah, he. I is, really like he? him. He's such a nice guy. He is. Yeah, he's yeah, a yeah. really good person. Yeah, yeah. I and he's t- funny as shit. Yeah. And he's so talented. I mean, the kid. He when he did Garden State, he was like in his twenty. It's crazy. It's he crazy. wrote it, directed it, starred in it. Best soundtrack. It does Isn't best. It? Yeah. Is that not the best soundtrack? With the shins. Yeah, I know. Not only that, but the lonely boy in New York, that mm. Simon and Garfunkel mm-hmm. song. I know. Like, when I was a kid, that was my favorite song. And when I heard that in that movie, I was like, Oh, I love that guy. Because we have we love the same kind of music. Yeah, and the shins as well. Yeah, yeah, and Josh Radin was in it, and all these, you know, he just. What a talented family, though. Look I know. at you. I know, and and my and my other two stepbrothers are writers, and and <clears throat> it's it's really they're all. I mean, we've been through a lot, our family. You know, my stepsister passed away. Oh my god. She had a brain aneurysm, and it, it was a nightmare. We've and my stepfather passed away, and then Zach's best friend was, you know, Nick. Amanda Crude's right. husband oh, had COVID. Yeah, it's just been like one thing after the other. It's our family, but yeah, it's like you know when the you know that you know I get what people why people feel about you know I people have strong opinions about vaccinations and they have MS and all that stuff like, but you know that's a prime example of somebody that I know. we lost that you know I mean was that somebody that would have never died if he never had it right no. and. We know we we did all these mindful things for people like that, right? I mean, I we want to save as many people as we can. I mean, I, I get people's belief in their rights and the, you know what mm-hmm. I mean and freedom and all that stuff, right? And I'm all for that, right? But 
the reason why we did what we did is we didn't want to get our parents sick and my mom sick. And also we don't we want to save as many people as we can. And uh, I love the pandemic, too. So I know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, one? I have yeah. I have a daughter with heart disease. I don't even know if you guys know that oh, no. my six year old. So I've oh. I've been always been like, God, I mean, she can't she cannot get it. She couldn't mm. get it. So yeah. she still has to wear a mask where, wherever we go. I mean, she's stable, but she needs more open heart surgeries. She's had oh. three. Oh, it's only God. six. Oh my God! Yeah, she said three open heart surgeries and a stent. So I'm, I'm, I've always been like with these people who are like, I'm not, you know, fuck that, and it's very hard for me. Even though I agree with you, and people have the right to do whatever they want to do with their own body and with their, but it's hard for me because I got a kid who cannot get it. Mm. She's got fucked up lungs and all. Yeah. Heart, so yeah, it's a very hard situation. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's so weird that it's not really over. But if it's you, not because I was supposed to tape something at the comedy store for Mint Comedy, you know, live stream thing, and the whole crew got COVID and couldn't film it. Oh, I mean, wow. people are still getting it. Yeah, I'm so sorry about your daughter, man. That yeah. sucks. Yeah, is she? She's not going to school then. I mean, she's she too goes young. to school. Yeah, yep. Zoom she, or live? No, she went. Well, during COVID, she was doing Zoom, but. Yeah, she goes to school and she's okay. She had open heart surgery six days old. We knew when she was in utero. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. That she right. needed open heart surgery. She has a rare heart disease. Oh my and, God. Uh, yeah, it's 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 crazy. I mean, in, 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 this is gonna sound interesting. I'm very grateful that she's okay. Mm. Like she still needs a bunch more surgery. She's never even had the major one where she needs her valve replaced, but Listen, I've been in children's hospitals for years and I've been around a lot of parents where they've come to the parents and said, I'm sorry, but your child is, I know this is very upsetting for people here, but- <laughs> It's upsetting I know. <laughs> it's yeah. perfect for a comedy. <laughs> 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 let me, let me. <laughs> By the way, we're gonna end this with me just killing my- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But, you know, the, it, I'm grateful that she's okay and she looks normal. She's gorgeous. You know, thank God she's pretty. <laughs> 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 I have four daughters. I have no. four little girls. Yep. And wow. she's, you know, she's healthy and okay, but she needs more. You know, this is also the kind of thing where people are like, your daughter's fine, right? She just has a hole in her heart, right? I'm like, no, she's not. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is, it's, it, it's not perfect. It's not okay. Like she needs more open heart surgeries mm -hmm. and this, but it's like, you can smoke pot, right? It's one of those <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you can, but I, I imagine, I'm so sorry that, but. Yeah. It does ground you totally. in the moment, right? Yes. It's like because you're, like you know, like for me, I don't want it's it it has nothing to do with your kid, but like even when I see my animals, right? Yeah, I know they have a certain, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I just I'm really trying to be like looking at the hairs on their, you know what I mean, and their paws. No, and it's looking, a similar thing. It's your and, child. Yeah, and it's, all the things, and yeah. and just really take in the moment. Yes, you know what I mean. That's what I and do. And the experience, yeah. It is. It's the same kind of, you feel the way you do about your animal. I get it. I've had animals and I feel I'm in love with them. Yeah. And I am very present with my kids and I'm very grateful that she's okay. She looks normal. She could have been very like tiny. You know, I was very worried that she'd be like a tiny little child. She's totally normal looking. Yeah. Um, Which I'm so grateful for. And she's goes to school she's healthy fine she takes medicine every day and she always will and she we have the best doctor in the world I mean, i'm not kidding we're at columbia in new york city wow. I, I, we're right near the doctor in the hospital so wow. we're, we're blessed i mean yeah. it could be so much worse i see these situations in the hospital that these parents deal with and i'm like god are we lucky i mean these situations the, these parents are in are so horrific what, what they have to deal with oh yeah so I'm grateful, but it also does ground me in this business. And like, I'm like, oh, I didn't get this weekend. Who fucking cares? Like, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, it yeah. does ground me a lot. Yeah. Because things could be a lot worse. Yeah. I also think that in general, especially when, because you had a recent relapse and so did I, it really puts things into perspective. Okay. And I, I don't want to lose it. Yeah. Right. It's like, I, here's my fear. My fear is right now I'm kind of in a pink cloud and yeah. I'm learning all these things about myself and, you know, I'm trying to be way more, like, attentive toward her and being mindful about all of the things. But I've kind of been here before in the sense that, like, 
You don't think I have? I think you've never been here before. I am so thoroughly mm -hmm. impressed by the effort this time around. <laughs> like I, I honestly, like you've, I've never even, Sarah and I were just talking about it yesterday. Mm. We was like, have you ever seen him more clear or calm? And she's like, mm. I've never seen him like this before. Just, you know, and consider it. That's the biggest thing. Like you're actually, like my mom, she texted me the other day. She was like, Bobby just asked if he could help with a trash. And I'm like, that is weird. I never said that. There's that's impossible. I would never say that. She was taking the trash out and she was like, and you apparently you said, Hey, can I help you with that? And she she called me to tell me that. She was wow. like, That is that weird? I'm like, that's that is weird, but also amazing. Because I don't want to help her. You know, <laughs> just, I can't I don't, handle it. That is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to help her, but I wanna do things against i that's uh, very important bobby yeah. i'm not kidding that's you 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 should do yeah what doesn't feel normal what mm. doesn't feel right yeah go against it and start practicing doing things that mm. are... like even this morning she woke up and normally like it just takes me a while mm -hmm. to even function right mm -hmm. but my thing was kiss her oh. on the forehead you right. did? Yeah, I did. Was I asleep? You were asleep. Okay. But I gave you a big kiss on the forehead Aww. and then went back to sleep. But it's like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Gross. Gross. I can, I, can, I can see him really trying. Like, usually <laughs> when he, he does not like being touched at all when he's asleep. Hate it. He wedges a pillow. <laughs> There's this big Right. Sorry, my, my language comes out, right? Dang, dang, dong. Listen, <laughs> that fucking pillow isn't a wedge between us, all right? Uh -huh. It's, I like to, I'm like a koala when I sleep, right? And koala me. That was yeah, hysterical. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever I walk in a room, that sound fucking happens. Yeah, yeah. Da -da -da <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um... <laughs> That, so for me, it's like now I'm trying to put the pillow on the other side so so you don't get the impression that you think it's a barrier. But it was never a barrier. It's just the I like to just do this. You know well, what I mean? What about when I accidentally um, graze up on you and you hiss? It's not that. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm going to say I, I, I'm, <laughs> it's not a hiss. I go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's worse. <laughs> it's a growl. Yeah, 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 growl. Yeah. yeah, so. I have oh, I have that thing where obsessive compulsive. Yeah. Right. So you know you've you and I have seen stuff on the iPad, right? And then when you hit me with this arm, I have to go, do this, and do this yeah. three times, right? Mm -hmm. So before, whenever you would you would graze upon me, my instinct would be to go and do it with this leg too. It's crazy. But no, I so... have I have a thing with threes. I don't Yeah, like it's that. crazy. But I... then now I have a thing with threes because I'm so <laughs> fucking I'm so fucking codependent. So now if I touch him, yeah. knowing that it'll set him off, I oh. now touch him in threes. No, yeah. I, I by the way, yeah. so does my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so really? if she if she my our entire relationship when she would kiss me on the cheek goodbye, she'll kiss me two more times because she knows it has to be three. Yeah. That's not codependent. That's okay. just being considerate. Yeah, but, okay. but let's That's not codependent. But let's talk about that. Why do we have that? Uh, I don't, I just think it's a, oh, I think a lot of people have that. I don't think it's like a major thing. I don't really overanalyze that. Right. But it is, but I really don't. When I do it, it's because if I don't do it, I feel like something bad. Me too. Happen. So I, that's weird. No, well, it is. It's superstitious. Yeah, it's superstitious. I think I'm gonna have a bad day. Yeah. Or so, yeah, I think something bad's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. But I have to like take three pieces of toilet paper. <laughs> what do you mean? I, or I do. Oh I, really? Yeah, I have to, or I have to cut it into three pieces. Like I have to do, like certain things have to be in threes. Yeah. If it's I, crazy. I, that's why I don't wave to people. Why? Because I have to wave with both arm hands. So I have <laughs> so I have to do this. You have to go like No, no, no. no. What I do is this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's better than this. All right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'll, I have to I, I have to go, "Hey." Oh, <laughs> that 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 yeah. looks do like the something's wrong. Thing. And the movie theater so I don't turn around a movie theater because I have to turn around two times. So this is what this is what you see if I turn around, right? <laughs> it's the fucking hair, dude. Right? So it's like, 
<laughs> it's, it's, it's All crazy. All of these things look like you have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> they're not I, good. I know they're not good, <laughs> right? So, but what I'm do, been doing now uh, is not doing it. Well, that's uh, good. But I it, uh, but it. Well, how do you just you stop doing it? I just go wait a moment. So what, here, well, here's what I'll do: Be- it, meds. <laughs> Well, I uh, I'm yeah. on little meds. Well, I am too, but I'm surprised you were just able to stop doing it. Right, I still think bad things are happening. <laughs> so, I literally, because yesterday I got a new car, right? Yeah. And I remember, like, I was upstairs and I touched the doorknob. Oof. So I touched it one time and I go, just do it one time. And then when my new car came up, there was uh, smoke coming out of the engine. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, so I'm like, that's bad. because I didn't do the I, fucking thing. I do the same uh, thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's but, hard. I know. But I also, I can't, this is what I'm stopping doing. Is that right? I'm going to stop doing this. Is that better? That was good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. I like you. Thanks. You're not an uppity Filipino. I'm a normal one. There we go. So um, you're not. You're uppity. But okay. anyway, um, <laughs> what I've been doing is if something bad happens early in the morning, immediately I go, this whole day is fucked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? And then I just somehow manifest bad things happening or I perceive things as bad. So what I've been trying to do now is if something bad happens in the morning, just reset and go, that's not going to dictate the rest of the day. Good. It seems to have been working kind of. You can also just like get on your knees and pray. Yeah. You don't have to get on your knees, but just say, God, please help me turn or higher power or whatever piece of bread. It doesn't have to be any, whatever. (laughs) Just help me. Please help me turn this day around. Energy out there, whatever it is. I find, though, going through the motions of getting on your hands and knees mm. is different than doing it in my car. It is Yeah, different. I feel like it's not more real. but It, it is. It, for it, me. It, yeah, feel, I feel it feels more real and more of a commitment almost. It is. Right? I just didn't know if you wanted to do that. No, I do do, me, I do do that. Okay, good. Yeah, I, in fact, I, like, I'll do it for like a Norman Rockwell painting where I'll do it by the side of the bed. Mm-hmm. You mean like that with those little white kids doing it? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. uh, please give me a red bite. You know? <laughs> <laughs> or whatever you like. Make the apple pie moist and delicious. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but for me, it's like, you know what I mean? Let me get that Netflix show. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Let me not yeah. bomb tonight or whatever it might yeah. be. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me not bomb. Yeah. Right. But it's it's weird. Now, what is your belief system when it comes to God? Oh, I've always believed in a higher power. Yeah. I'm very connected, thank God. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I do believe in God. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I, But it... it I've been like protected my whole life. I should be dead. I've, I mean, seriously, I've like driven drunk, you know, the whole time I've been using my whole life. Like, um, there's been so many times like I should just shouldn't be here. And uh, I see signs constantly. There's just been too many coincidences, too many times that that things have come together, that people have shown up, that I've thought of something and then there's someone standing there or people have been connected. It's insane. It's totally insane. Um, but you have to be able to see, be able to I be do. open to see it. I have been open yeah. a lot. The more I'm aware of it and I open myself up to it, the more things I see, of course. Yeah. The more I'm closed off to it, I don't see anything. Um, Can but, I tell you my biggest God shot? Yeah. Yeah, I, lo- I love these stories. Are you being sarcastic? No, I no, I'm being totally serious. Yeah, and I, now, I love them. Now I tell normal people this story. Yeah, and people go, "That was just a coincidence." No, right? I love this. Right, but there, I tell thing. people in twelve step groups the story, yeah. and they go, "Oh, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean." So, I got sober originally when I was seventeen, and when I was seventeen, I I was really into twelve steps because I my parents are you know what I mean. Pan face, be beautiful people. You know what I mean? Pan face, <laughs> beautiful people. You know what I mean? Pan face, <laughs> you know what I mean? You've people. changed. Right. They're, yeah, I, I usually say gook, but I won't. You know what I mean? <laughs> Budget it. <laughs> they're pan face, beautiful people, right? And they're just like, <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, whatever. You know what I mean? And I never never learned anything yeah. from them. I don't, you don't learn. So when I first got sober, I learned how to live in the moment. I learned how to like set boundaries or whatever you might, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, and I learned life through. Mm-hmm. But then when I was 30, I relapsed. And, um, and But the last seven years before that, I never went to a single meeting. So I lost all my numbers and whatnot, right? Mm-hmm. And I also moved to L.A. I got sober in San Diego. so, mm-hmm. And um, I relapsed, and I was heavy into opiates, and I was going through really bad withdrawals. 
and my my um manager goes there's a wheatgrass farm in San Diego. <laughs> I want to go through it. So maybe you can get sober there. I go, but it's not a 12 step. A thing. wheatgrass farm. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I showed up and they do wheatgrass colonics. And I literally woke up in a bathroom at this place with a tube in my asshole, green wheatgrass all over the fucking floor. It was weird. And I'm like, there, there's no 12 step, nothing, right? Uh huh. And all they see, feed you is like seeds. Like it's one of those. There's no meat. It's so just fucked up. Seeds and wheatgrass and carrot juice. So unhealthy. It was so terrible, right? So one night I go to my manager, and she's like sitting by the pool, <laughs> drinking a wheatgrass thing, right? <laughs> and I'm like shaking. I'm you know? like, I feel sick even just listening to this. Yeah, yeah. My stomach. Is and I'm going, um. I can't eat this food anymore, man. You know what I mean? It's like, well, you know, it's healthy and you're losing weight. Losing weight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm dying. You know what I mean? So I go, I go, give me fucking twenty dollars, right? Because I know you have some cash, and I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna escape, right? So I climbed over this wall the, and I ran through this wall. forest. Wait, there were a wall risks in this wheatgrass farm? <laughs> no, it was like there was just I, I didn't want to just walk out the front door. No, but the best way to get to where I, I, I was I feel like you've camouflage on and <laughs> you've like covered in yeah, wheatgrass. Yeah, yeah. But the Vons and the there was a Vons uh-huh. grocery store and an in and out, right? Oh. Over this wall down this forest. So I just climbed this, this little sounds- wall. It's not like fucking Mission Impossible yeah. where I'm like have a fucking thing, all right? I'm just hopping over a wall. Yeah. All right? So Calm down, guys. Like the yeah. Bill, like the it's like one in the morning. It was a 24-hour font. I go, you know what? I want an apple. I don't know why. So I went into the apple. I went to the apple section at this Vons, and I get a tap on my shoulder. And I turn around, and there's this guy named Will. Now, when I was 17 years old. Yeah, this is crazy. I know. Yeah, when yeah. I was 17 years old, this guy was my sponsor. That's crazy. My Ooh. first sponsor before Dan. And I go, what the fuck? And he goes, what the fuck? And he goes, I go, what are you doing here? And he goes, I don't know. I was speaking at a meeting in Arizona. I was driving down the A and something told me to come here. And I go, did he want an apple too? No, he was just walking. The He's like, he wanted to get a bottle of water. I don't know what it was, but he goes, he could have gone somewhere else, but he's like, I needed to go to this Vons, right? And I go, well, and I told him my story. He goes, I have everyone's numbers from my old AA from when I was 17 years old. Yeah. So I just frantically wrote down all these numbers and everyone from AA in the San Diego scene would come and pick me up from this place to take me to a meeting. Right. So I just ran into this guy randomly. Right. And to me, that was a God. Of course it was. I mean, that was like weird. And now other people be like, that's just a coincidence. And you know what I mean? But. I, I choose not to look at it that way. No, it's not. Well, that's not a quick. I know there's going to be people who are listening. <laughs> I know. I mean, that's why I'm saying it. I mean, of our course, fans are going to fuck at it. You have to keep saying that because, of course, there's going to be people who, and it's understandable, who are going to go, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I believe that too, especially when it comes to program stuff. Yeah. That you are put in situations with certain people where you know, God or my higher power will put people in my life, especially when it comes to sobriety yeah. at the right mm-hmm. times. It's happened to me a, a ton of times where yeah. when I need help, someone will show up mm-hmm. in my life at the right time. It's happened to me so many times I can't even count. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question yeah, about ahead. apples. Uh-huh. Why do you insist that red delicious apples are good? Because they're the sweetest ones and they're the most <laughs> delicious. They're not. They have that squeaky skin. Squeaky skin. I what love honey crisp. About? Yes. Oh. Yes. I love you. Oh, you uppity fucker. What is a honey crisp? <laughs> they're amazing. Honey what crisp what, are they, is what color favorite. are they? Very a uh, yellowish red, pink, um, pink. Orange. They're every color. Um, a gala is okay. Yeah, they're good. Okay. But pink red ladies delicious. Are good too. Pink. Yes. Yeah. Red delicious is out. Sweetie. I love Laxton superbs. What are those? What are lax? Laxton superb. Oh, the Laxton. band you were in. That's uppity. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, look, is there a Laxton superb apple? Uh, I'll look it up. Laxton's superb. Is that a really type of like a, a type of apple? Is that I think so. I think so. Look it up. <laughs> I've never like, had one. I never had one, but look it up. What is that? I, I don't want to just say that it, uh, that is a real apple. <gasps> really? Oh, that looks crispy though. So, 
Wait, so it's like half it's a granny mist? Oh, it's green? Yeah. It's like Barack Obama. It's mixed. <laughs> <laughs> Popular home yeah, yeah. English style variety from the late oh, Victorian period. English. It's yeah. a beautiful apple. Thank you. I want to know uh, interesting twist in flavor inherited from its other parent, the Wyken Pippin. Didn't yeah. know that was an uh, apple. That's fancy. And the reason why I know this is because I had I was in a band and that's what we were called. <laughs> what did you play? Keyboard. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah. It was a terrible band, but um, <laughs> I'm getting back together with the guys. You know that? What? Yeah. You guys are gonna go on. We're tour. talking. No, they want to go to Vegas, but you know I haven't seen these guys since I was 20. I'm so, so. excited. Yeah, yeah. Um, Grow out your hair like you did back then. That's the thing I'm doing right now, Jessica. Is I'm... your hair is beautiful? Thank you. It is. Thank you. I was just thinking that when you were talking before. I'm serious. Really? Yeah. Should I grow it longer or what? Why not? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Who gives a shit? Who gives a fucking flying We're all going to die. Yeah. I'm serious. I know. <laughs> I, I, let me ask you this. Are you scared of that? I don't think anything's going to happen in the near future, but this world is not. It's, things are not going very well. I know. I mean, I have kids, so I'm trying to be positive, but I mean, what is going on? Yeah. I mean, with <sighs> the wars, with yeah. the environment. Everything. Everything. It's, Everything. The government, yeah, the government on both sides. Oh I mean, my, yeah, what is happening? It's, yeah, it, it's chaos. We've never been here before. Never. It's not yeah. even close. Well, it's I, relatable to the 60s. I think the 60s was similar. Yeah, but I just don't know who, who is going to even help. But like, I feel like I, I, I'm both like, who is going to run this? No one can get along or even have a conversation. So yeah, I don't it's even... been more polarized than it's ever been. Right. That's my. That's where I'm the most like nervous about everything. But can I say something to you? And I think we cannot. So, when I went to the place, mm -hmm. the trauma place, I ran to. I ran, you know, because our group. I don't know how yours work, but we, you go through this whole program with eight other people going through the program. Yeah, it's a small group. Yeah. So you're just around them constantly, and at first you're like, I fucking hate these people. <laughs> yeah. And by the end of the thing, you're like, these are my best friends in the whole world. Yeah. But there was one guy who was not vaxxed, doesn't believe in vaccinations, or he thinks that. It's probably Wuhan that did it. <laughs> Blaming Wuhan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, he is a Trump supporter. Yeah. You know, he wears the Make America Great hat, you know. And he was the closest guy I went through with that in that program. He, at the end of the week, him and I were hugging, mm. tears in our eyes, because we relate on other things, right? Mm. He has trauma, so do I. You know what I mean? We have similar traumatic experiences, yeah. sim similar diseases almost, yeah. right? And we were able to really just bond, and I just had to, in a moment, we're all the same. Yeah, we are. We are. We're fighting against each other. We're all the same. Yeah. And what we, you know, what's going to help everything? An alien evasion from a different planet. I agree. <laughs> what? What? I'm being real. Be you don't think so? Look at fucking Independence Day. The Palestinians and the Jews were the no, fighter pilots together. Better yet. Would I'm not you. I'm not even laughing because nothing, <laughs> nothing would surprise me at this point. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't be surprised if aliens showed up right now outside the door. Yeah. We're like, hello. Yeah. Like, I'm not. Yeah. I, I, I'm being. I, I think. I, <laughs> I think that we that would if we had to fight another planet, we would have to. No one's gonna go. Well, yeah, yeah. well I'm a Trump guy. No one gives a fuck. We That's have to get so together yeah. and fight this thing, and then we will find our commonality, which is humanity. That's such a great point. <laughs> I mean, sarcastic. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I know. We don't. I, if that happened, that would be perfect. That would be perfect. Because then we have to come together. I, I think the op. I, I don't think so at all. What? You think that? It'll be split. You think I... aliens will be Trump supporters too, and they'll have liberals <laughs> as well? And then <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I genuinely think that. Make Mar America great again. Make America great again. <laughs> Even yeah. some get, build the wall, build the wall. Oh my God! Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. E, Pr I proud boys, stand back, stand by. <laughs> Storm the Capitol. <laughs> we have lasers, but you guys do it. Yeah. I think even something as absurdly obvious, or like something like aliens, I think somehow we'd find a way to politicize it. I, I just that's like, just yeah, the it's state like a, of it. It's like a rival. Or that no movie gonna... th where the the don't look up. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Even if a comet were to be hurtling through Earth, somehow we'd find a way to. No, I think you're uh, close to the point. I think because we're so not united, yeah. right? That half the country <laughs> wouldn't even believe it was happening. Oh, they would deny it. Yeah, yeah. they're just they're just Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? 
They would say they were Mexicans or they were like, you know what I mean? Or, you know what I mean? Or whatever. You know what I mean? They yeah. would figure it out. Those are just black people trying to take, <laughs> take our job. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's BLM. I don't see, I don't see aliens. I see black people trying to take over our time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be that. Those are just gays. <laughs> dressed up in alien outfits trying to take over and fuck our children. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what would happen. Yeah. And we would be so not united and, and just in chaos of fighting amongst <laughs> ourselves. Yeah. They're just going to wipe us out completely. Yeah. Yeah, we're fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's pray. Okay, ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You do a prayer. Lord. Yeah. Please help us. <laughs> please. When we die, just make it quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather die, like, in your sleep? No. See, this is what I've been saying, and I've been doing this on stage, but I really mean it. I want a, a two-week notice of when I'm going to die because I want to try oh. every drug I never tried because oh. I never tried crack or I never <laughs> yeah. tried crystal meth or heroin. I, there's a lot I haven't tried. Yeah. I, I want a two-week notice. Mm. Yeah. And I want to fucking go for it. Oh. Seriously. I would I, I would want I would want to have the same death date with you. <laughs> yeah, we if we Let's and I went oh my god, we would have fun. I we think would, you'd die the first day. Oh we, yeah. We, <laughs> they would find us I in the desert that, yeah. naked <laughs> holding each other just our skeletons. We would yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> two weeks, two yeah, weeks yeah. is way too yeah, long yeah. if you both. And there's not even like, heroin around us. This is a joint, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we died from just a joint, you know what I mean? I'd have like a needle up my asshole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And there's like a Klingon knife just stuck into my ribs. <laughs> I know two weeks. What am yeah, I yeah, kidding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I can imagine you and I, because I would like to go to Mexico and do one of those like not peyote, but yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. something that like shit ayahuasca too. or something yeah. like that. I want to do that. Like, I know. I would yeah. just like I would have this horribly like, traumatized face. <laughs> it's like. I have a ton. Yeah. Yeah. I would, would do terrible. it with you. I, yeah. I think it would be like laughing for a minute and then just. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. It would yeah. be so sad. We but, would never fuck, though. No. No, no. Oh, yeah, gross. No. If anything, I'd fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm also like, I'm, I am versatile. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I could, I, I like to be taken also, but someone has to really own it. Remember, I said that. Like they, they right. can't be like, "Do you mind if I fuck you?" <laughs> like, right. I guess someone has to be real, you know, like right. own it and be aggressive. Have you ever hooked up with a dude or no? Oh yeah. Oh, back yeah. in the day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I was annihilated. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? Uh, yeah, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, I never minded sex. Look, like I gave blowjobs. I like giving blow. I, I, it's. I say it on stage, but I mean it because I, I like that feeling in the back of my throat. Yeah. I'm an eater. Yeah, and I don't. <laughs> Just go to a hot dog eating contest. I don't. I don't <laughs> and I don't chew. Like I really love eating food. Like, <laughs> you know, like I love to eat. Yeah. So I, I liked giving blowjobs. I'm, I'm not a chewer either. I yeah. inhale oh. food. My parents have always been like, slow down. I'm mm. done in yeah. two minutes. Right, we eat fast in my family too. Yeah. So I like, I, you know. Maybe there's a correlation between that and liking, you know, being yeah. spell fucked. Mm -hmm. But do you think there's an afterlife? Of what? The, after we die, you think? You do oh, I thought you meant it being skull. <laughs> <laughs> I got what? so confused. <laughs> yeah. The ghost uh, just exits my body. Well, the skull fucking may be uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know what skull fucking is, you know what I mean? So what it's do you like, think it is? Do you know, what do you think, do you think, what do you think, think it is? is? An aggressive blowjob. Because skull is like like mouth fuck is one thing skull is the whole thing mm. right so it just it just seems like there's a lot of like it's just aggressive here's the uh, urban dictionary what? that's a reliable source the act of grabbing a partner's skull a partner's skull see that's yeah, the, like a head fuck yeah, yeah. but i don't want to grab your skull maybe your temples are the side of your face that's a temple fuck a temple fuck yeah and putting your dick in the I, mouth i do understand you sweetie he's home. very tender I'm He's so a very tender. Sweet, sweet man. Aww. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do I believe in an afterlife? <laughs> <laughs> la, la, la la la. Um, I. Yes. Yeah, you do. I don't know what it is, but I do believe in it. Like I feel like my father is somewhere, but I don't know what's going on. Yeah. But I do believe he's out there somewhere. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah. And it's in the sky. Like, I don't know why. Yeah. I wish my dad was up there and just getting beat by Jesus <laughs> with a fucking golf, golf club. club. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but just for like a year and then have, and I want to go up to heaven and have my dad be there. Do you think he's in heaven? 
I think so. Because he never killed anybody. Yeah. Yeah. I think he. I, I think th didn't he um, take a butter knife to your aunt's neck? Yeah. Slap she, on the wrist. Attempted, slap attempted, on the wrist. attempted murder, murder, but not yeah, quite yeah, murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I imagine him just being there, like a green pasture. Like I, I wake up, and I'm not naked, but I'm wearing like white stuff. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like robe. I get up. I go, what the fuck, right? And I see my dad there, and him have tears in his eyes. Yeah. And say, I'm so sorry. You know, he has a golf club, but he's not gonna beat me with it. He's just playing, playing golf on the pasture. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think, yeah, I think my dad's definitely in heaven. He was a very good person. He, yeah, he really is a very, very good person, a big heart and sensitive person, just a bad temper. Yeah, moody. You know, moody. Are you like that with your kids? No, right? No, obviously not. I am so overly conscious about. I I don't think I've ever yelled at my kids. Wow. I'm really like, if anything, too, like I need to. That's better. Yeah. <clears throat> that's yeah. yeah. I think yeah. that's what happens. Either you repeat the exact same things or you're, and I'm just like he is where I'm very, very silly with them, which is amazing because they're silly. Yeah. You know? I, I think that you and I, even if our parents weren't the way they were, we would still be comedians. Yeah. But I would just be like Nikki Glaser. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Just, you know, or, yeah, or, you know, or David Spade, just nice. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. 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 You and I have an edge, or oh yeah. Yeah, 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 I love having an edge. Me though. too, me too, me too. I laugh. At, I mean, uh, I laugh at comics who have an edge. I was dying laughing at you last night. Like, I, that edge is what makes me laugh. Like that was I, you laughing. I was laughing. In That's the what back. I heard over there on the side. I was, was laughing. You. That was hysterically you. in the yeah, side. Oh, thanks. Side. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I always laugh at you. Who's who's not gonna laugh at you? I laugh at you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. You know, I I. I don't laugh at safe comics. I mean, I get it. They're good writers, but I don't laugh at that. I, yeah. I, I laugh at people's angst and pain. Like, that's what I laugh at. It's yeah, because I was watching David Spade last night. Mm -hmm. He was right before me, and I had dinner with him before. And I, 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 I just, like, I was watching him going, I wish. There was a part of me that wishes I could be like him in a sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like when he went up before, because we were hanging out before, it's just a spot. You know what I mean? For me, it's like. Looking at the room, you know what I mean? See what kind of crowd they are. Yeah. There's just more of a worry. Me you know? too. Yeah. Just so you know, if it makes you feel better, every time I go up, Me I'm too. like, this, you know, they may not. But but I still always stay true to who I am. And if they don't get it, they don't. And I will never just do what I think they want me to do because I, I'm, I might as well not do it. Like, yeah. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, That's I a can't. harder room, though. The improv the on improv Melrose. The improv is a harder room. Is so hard. We talked about that. Yeah, we that. talked about it. It's yeah. uptight sometimes. Yeah. We strive in the store. Yes, because it's dingy dark. and dark. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. It's like a, yeah, it's like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like a dog. Mitzi's asshole. We're, we're performing inside Mitzi's asshole. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. the comedy cellar. It's like a dark comedy room, you know. Yeah. Also, the kind of comics, too, around are like, oh, that guy, guy was in prison. You know what I mean? Or oh, whatever. You <laughs> totally. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's out. Or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Didn't he just kill someone? <laughs> yeah. So, at the uh, uh, by the way, okay, whenever you want to come back here, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just ask. Oh, thank Love you. you. Love you. That means a lot. I mean, this is such an honor to sit here with you guys. I love you. Um, at the end, we do a thing called unhelpful advice, and basically, people ask us questions, and we answer them. Sure. Yeah, I got like, emotional a little bit. Mm. Oh. Unhelpful advice with Jessica Kirsten. Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. I'm from New York City. I had a horrible experience with a man when I was 18 who was much older than me. He was in his 50s. He became obsessed with me, which turned into stalking, threatening eventually with weapons and sexual assault. <sighs> he had a family and I felt trapped and embarrassed, which is why it went on for years. Eventually, someone in my family found out, which forced it to the police and the courts, which ended up him in jail. Fast forward 10 years, I find myself mostly moved on from it. The problem I have is that he was a Filipino man, and I find myself very paranoid and jumpy when I'm around Filipino men now. Obviously, I understand it was a bad case. <laughs> it has nothing to do with this fact. However, I find myself extremely uncomfortable and nervous. I don't know how to get... Uh, how to get out of this i have many filipino friends and i find it hard to manage especially when i'm with their families fathers and uncles mm. all i can see and hear is him this, i have had is... wonderful experiences with this ethnicity uh they are so kind welcoming and loving but i can't seem to shake it off the back of my mind mm. what do i do stephanie this is my forte this is my lane right here i i had 
pervy uncles, molester uncles, abusive uncles, uncles that swung their dicks in my faces. <laughs> so, um, you know, I understand. I've never. It's a funny visual. It is a funny visual. <laughs> yeah. Like, I remember always just, being. Just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like I had uncles that made my back sticky my whole childhood. But uh, uh, well, that dark. you know, dark. but yeah. funny, still funny, but dark, dark. <laughs> I have the same problem. Mm, yeah. I have never dated Filipino men. I am so scarred by what I saw growing up. They were shitty to me, shitty to their. They were shitty husbands. I was. I come from a very matriarchal Filipino family. All the women ran, all the women were the bosses in the family. And I, for some reason, that stuck. But I think for so long, I felt what she felt jumpy, kind of just like, nope, I can't date them. Because I had such bad examples growing up. Mm. But that's just my family. I have to come to terms with the fact that that's not all Filipino man. That was just my shitty family. I, I've been trying, like what we talked about before, is just go against. You know my, how I feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like when I go to the Korean spa, I go to this dingy Korean spa that it's only old Korean men, and some of them remind me of my dad. I'm being real. They have that temperament. Mm. You know what I mean like when they're walking down the hallway, you have to get out of their way. But mm. and usually I I, I I flinch or I'll, but I'll walk past them. I'll smile even though I don't want to really. Mm. I'm just going against because it's not. They're not my dad. Mm -hmm. They're not. They're not my dad. I know that intellectually. It's just. But how do you. Because with trauma, we can intellectualize trauma all we want. But ultimately, our body responds in the way our body responds. And that's something that we cannot stop in its tracks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think for her, you really have to do the trauma work. I was. That was the thing I was going to say. There is work you can do mm. to, to literally make that go away. And that is. There's a thing called ART which is accelerated resolution therapy, and she can do eye movement work and, and really, mm. believe it or not, make that stuff go away. Mm -hmm. It sounds nuts, but there's, there's life experiences that you can do with EMDR or ART and stuff like that where you can, you can make, you can get, get, get those body, you know, those feelings, stuff you guys have done too, mm. and, and not have those feelings anymore in your body or in your mind. And it could shift everything. Yeah. I mean, there are specific incidences I had with my dad yep. that are very, that used to be very visceral and yep. vivid for me, right? They don't have the same weight. Me too. Because I, I did EMDR on that specific yep. memory, right? Mm -hmm. And I really do believe there's a connection between body mm -hmm. and history. Me too. I, I do. You know, I think that you carry that shit in your body. It turns into something terrible later on. You know what I mean? like diseases and whatnot. Mm -hmm. because, and so I want that shit released. I don't want that. I don't want to carry that shit around with me. And I, I, I agree with Jessica. I think yeah. we should end on a good note. That's it. That's good. Back, My back being back sticky. sticky. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. There we go. New short film. Yeah. That's, that's the name that's... of my new DVD. My back is sticky. <laughs> my back is sticky by Jessica. <laughs> oh, Jessica, here's uh, Bobby, by the way, in uh, that band he was in. Lax and Superb. Oh, my God. Young, young man. Young man. I was 21 years old there. Wow. 30 years ago. Such a hottie, babe. Back then? Yeah. The, Still now. The jawline. Yeah. yeah. I had the long hair. Amazing. Yeah. Don't watch that. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, Jess, you want anything to promote? Yeah, people can go on my Instagram, Jesse Kirsten, my TikTok, Jessica Kirsten. I, po I post crowd work videos every day. I do a shitload of crowd work. I'm, put I'm gonna put out a crowd work special. Oh, wow. Which no woman has done, so I'm gonna Ooh. put that out soon. Exciting. Yeah, and uh, and my dates, I'm on tour, so my dates are at jessicakirsten.com all over the country. Has it been fun or no, going on tour? No. Uh, no, I, lo <laughs> I love, you know, I love when I get on stage. That's when I'm, but the traveling is a lot, but I, I love performing. I love being on stage, and I, you know. That's the best part. Oh wait, but. aren't you doing Moon Tower too? Yes. Oh, we're gonna be you're a Moon going, Tower. Oh, I love. That we'll you're be going a Moon, moon tower. tower. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, so check us out at Moon Tower in Austin. Yes. I don't know when that is. It's the end of April. End of April. Yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah. And uh, give her a round of applause. Woo! Thank you. I love you guys.
No, you don't. I don't want to. Wait. I'm leaving. Come on. What were you going to say? What's dumb? The dumb dumbs who think that it's on. Oh, that was rehearsed or faked. Really? So what's what? What's the point of that? Why would they fa- like when Sasha Baron Cohen did a prank? Remember where it was like um, Charlie Chaplin's co-star or something who's like 90 years old now and he pushes her off stage oh, yeah, and yeah, she yeah. tumbles, right? Mm-hmm. That's obviously a bit, right? It got a laugh. It's controversial. It's edgy, but it's funny. It really is funny the way they did that, right? With this one, it's like, really, you think, first of all, for them to, re- these award shows, you think that they just, that was the first time they went up on stage? Yeah. They have rehearsals during the day, right? They have all the presenters come out. This is your mark. You need to come after that. It's not just improvise. So the whole thing is rehearsed, right? There's a director, producers. They're all sitting around, right? And it's like Chris is doing his thing. Will isn't even probably even there during the rehearsals because he's just getting, he's just nominated, right? So he's just sitting there, right? So he wouldn't even be there for rehearsals. So what you're saying to me is that Chris calls Will Smith one night and goes, come over to my house. Let's do, you you know, I'm going to make fun of your wife. She's got to look offended, right? And then, you slap me, and Will Smith's like, why? Just do it. It's going to be great. I'm a comedian, you know, right? And then you're going to sit back and go, don't fucking talk shit about my wife. Don't ever talk shit about fucking whatever, right? Yeah. That's what they came up with? Well, what about with people saying, oh, like, you know, they did it for ratings? It made the Oscars relevant again. No, no. They did it for ratings because, number one, um, th- there's, not, there's not a place more woke, Right? than the Oscars. They're a bunch of woke little pansies, right? So it's like, that's the opposite of woke what they did. Also, it's like, why would he like voluntarily jeopardize his, his career? career. He's, he's, his career is not done. I mean, he, he, Mel Gibson keeps working, yeah. but there's a stink. I haven't seen a Mel Gibson movie since that tirade. Some of them I wanted to watch, and I bought them. I just can't watch them. But my point is, is this: <laughs> you supported them monetarily. Like the Santa Claus one, the Santa Claus it. one looked, looked really it. big, but I never saw it. Right? <laughs> I gave him the money, though, right? But my point is, is that, um, yeah, it's it doesn't make any sense. That's not how it works, right? I've never been to the Oscars, but I've been to the Billboard Award. I've been to a bunch of award shows, the MMA Awards with Randy Couture. My point is, is that you know, as a presenter and stuff, you're rehearsing. You have to show up there. That you have to know what to do. It's, there's no way that they did that. I think my best theory on it is if it was faked, Chris Rock would have had a lot better joke for that moment. Right. Because yeah. he, he there was even a part where he was like, all right, like I won't say it anymore. Like he was uh, flustered for a bit, a bit, you know? But he's also not, no, like, okay, I could see Andy Kaufman doing it, right? But, but there would be no, unless it was Bob Zamuda in the audience, you know what I mean? <laughs> Coming up, there would, no one else would do that, right? So, you know, Chris Rock isn't an Andy Kaufman-esque performer. He's just not. Because the only, you know, Andy Kaufman humor is only the two people that are doing it are in on it, right? That's what makes it cool, you know what I mean? But that's not what Chris Rock is about. Chris Rock is a joke-oriented, punchline-oriented comic, right? That, that pause of, like, let, if it was Sasha Baron Cohen... It could, you know, I could see theories, you know what I mean? I might be able to get behind some theories, but Chris isn't that guy, you know? Right. So it's just like, it's absurd. It's ridiculous. It's not, I just, you know, I hate people with conspiracy theories. It's like, none of it's fucking real, man. I have a question. Would none you of have, it's real. It's like, shut the fuck up, would, man. Would you have been able to, to um, withstand that open hand slap? No, I would have, my eyes would have fluttered. You'd only see white, right? <laughs> right. I'd probably make a noise, whoa, 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 you know what I mean? And I would f- directly fall, right? And the fall would wake me back up, but I would stand back up and there would be blood dripping, right? From your and ears? I would, from my ears and my back of my neck, right? Because of the, right? And I, it had blood in my hand. I go, we're cutting to a commercial break. <laughs> Geico or something, right? right? And then walk off stage. I, wanna, then, I really want to know what you would say. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. As I'm walking to what warns you. Yeah, yeah. What did the five fingers say to the face? What? Slap. Oh. Oh man. Um. <laughs> Will Smith just slapped me. I would say what he said. Yeah. And I go. 
Anyway, the next presenters, <laughs> like I would go right to the prompter. There's a prompter. Uh huh. I mean, my instinct would go right to what, because I wouldn't be thinking at that point. So you would just go autopilot. Yeah, yeah. So the the, the nominees for best <laughs> documentary would be, yeah, Taylor Goldwyn for you know what I mean, the Amazon Princess or whatever, right? And people would be like, dude, a dress that he just slapped you. Yeah. And then and I would get off stage and I would go right to Twitter. No, first I would be like, Abby would be there, my man, and I would scream at her. Yeah. I told you this wasn't a good idea. You know what I mean? Oh, everyone wants to hit me. You know what I mean? Or yeah. whatever, right? Or, I, you know you know what I would say? You know, I, honestly, the, uh, let's not even, no jokes. Mm -hmm. I would probably go, what happened to people? If I was there, yeah. I would go after Will Smith. If he slapped you, I, could see a, a crazy... I would grab Jada's bald head. Yeah. <laughs> And, and then like and the you know, so you you're on the side of the stage. Oh, I would run across and fucking I would you know, absolutely smack. I would try to fight him. You know who'd be scared? Who? The guy standing next to sitting next to Stanley Tucci. Because <laughs> they'd be like Stanley Tucci. What Stanley Tucci? <laughs> like it would be like it would be like what the fuck? Is you know, you're so <laughs> fucked up. I I just I just declared that I would I, I, I would defend you. I mean, it would be a confusing moment of like a double take, like. Wow, this show's in, the, the special effects in this show is amazing. Did, did that the makeup? You know, be nominees do that makeup or whatever. They, so they, it's funny though, babe. Come on. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, that person would be scared. But my point is, you'd run across and what? I would honestly cause a commotion. You don't fucking hit. I, if if you got hit by anybody, I don't care if it's Will Smith, God himself, whoever the fuck were to hit you. But I here's but here's. The truth of it, and this is because you're a sensible person, right? You're you would feel that inside, right? Your instincts would be like, oh, "What the fuck," right? But you still would be very aware of where you are. But if your eyes were white, and I just saw the fucking oh, ghost you mean when, escape oh, oh, your body? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. You would come to my body first, right? And it, you know, it would be it, like, you know, that one. You're right. I would just be like, are you okay, sweetie? Yeah. Like and I'd, just, be, I'd point at him and be like, no, fuck you. I probably wouldn't try to fight him. You're right. I'd yeah, probably you like, you cuss wouldn't. him out. I mean, because you're looking in the eyes. You see Meryl Streep. You see everybody, right? Yeah. You'd probably wave. I'm on TV or whatever. <laughs> yeah. But it would be like, I think it would. the photo would be infamous. It's like, remember the 60s when the, that school college shooting and one student got shot and there was a bystander holding him? It'd be one of those shots. You know what I mean? Mm. You'd be a, a, like an iconic photo. Mm. I feel like licks would come out. Like, you fucking pussy. I'd just go off what on him in a mic. I'd be by the mic too. What? Because your, your your body is still by the mic. So right. I'd pull the mic and I would just like call Will Smith all sorts of names. Yeah. Oh. Or somebody would yell out, do your lines from the core. <laughs> <laughs> And then the, the whole audience is too chi, too chi, you know? and they're like, he's like Sean Penny, like, she, you know, he's everywhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't do that because it, it would it would freak people out. It would freak people out, especially if he wasn't there. What do you mean? If Tucci wasn't in the audience, just let's just live like theory. Yeah, I didn't know this turned <laughs> this would turn into. Uh, a me at the uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're beautiful, babe. It's just for the podcast I say it. You know what I mean? I do look like Stanley. No, though. you don't. You look beautiful, babe. I do look like Stanley. I accept it. No, it's just a joke, babe. You don't. I know it irritates you. That's why I say it. It doesn't irritate me. Yeah, I yeah. think it's actually um, very... You don't look nothing like him. Very, very hurtful. Yeah, you don't look nothing, nothing like him. <laughs> it doesn't irritate me. It just hurts me yeah. deeply. Um, that what is, You know, but, you know, I have to say... My last final thing is what? Why? No, this is the final thing. This is, and it's not a joke, okay? Is Chris Rock is, you know, he is like the Mont Rushmore of comics. Like if you, like of today, like if there was a Mont, Mount Rushmore, it'd be Chappelle, Chris Rock would be up there of today. You know, Bill Burr would maybe or... Whatever you know, what I mean, Louis C.K. But with his dick out, or whatever you know, what I mean. But um, he would, they would be up there, right? And if you can ass assault 
one of the Mount Rushmore's of comics, we we're all fucked. We're all fucked. You know what I mean? Because it's like, um, our job as a comedian is to say things that you're not always going to agree with. Is to open the envelope. You know what I mean? Especially for someone like me, I'm a shock comic. You know, I just say fucked up things on stage, right? And I act, I sometimes improvise and say things that are just like. I, I'll sometimes even say something where I'm like, wow, why would you say that? that's crazy? You know what I mean? But that's just the whole point of it, right? And it's it, it there's always comedy clubs and stages of any kind, right? If you're doing a play, right? It's it should be the safest place one can be in, especially you know when you're performing. It's like you know, imagine if like you're at a circus solation like Love or something, right? And, you know, you've done the routine a thousand times and then one day somebody just shoots you, you know, when you're up on one of those rafters, right? It's just like, it's just like not cool, especially Will Smith should know better. He's a performer. He knows that that's a, a sacred line you don't cross. That's a really fucked up thing he did, man. It's fucked up. I would love him on the podcast and I would I'd suck his dick, but, um, but I'm a, you know... I'm a whore. <laughs> I really, I'm a let's, whore. Let's end on that right, now. All right, all right. But it's, it's, what he did was fucked up, man. Mm-hmm.